As the adventurers move forward into the last stages of fighting these monstrosities, you've managed to enter inside the city while it has been a epicenter of what could be described as kaiju battles. Various amount of demon lords have been taken out and only two currently remaining. Along the while, Boom decided to dress as one of the matriarchs, or at least close enough to one of the matriarchs. Uh, the cousin of the current matriarch to allow them to boss people around. While doing work, uh, one individual did spot them, as the mannerisms did not exactly coincide with the individual that he's disguised as. The man I asked you to identify yourself, and I don't remember if you gave him attitude but with your team it's likely you gave him attitude uh but then they asked one last time and then you said fine i am boom he stepped out of the shadows and he simply stated and this is where we pick up pick up uh the man steps out of the shadows and there stands a moderately uh sized uh drow individual lavender eyes uh with silver locked hair to the right of them stands a black panther uh potentially ready for the charge and what he states is i don't really know what that means it'd be a lot more specific i gave my full I thought I gave my full name last time, but I don't remember for sure. I don't remember if he gave it the full I'm name, but at the exact same time, that means nothing to him. I I'm pretty sure you just said boo when he asked for your name. You didn't give the full name or the explanation that boo was a name and not an explosion description. What? Your city is being destroyed as we speak, and your focus is on trying to stop the property from escaping? Okay, first, you really don't know what I'm doing. Second, you have no idea who I am. And third, no. My idea right now is to see if it's someone causing a scene. Two, potentially, you know, as often as not people do, especially down here getting how should i say this as much out of things as possible don't really know if you're a good guy or a bad guy and three to identify if you're a good guy or a bad guy if you're another problem it's easier to take care of the problem before it becomes points to the background where two current demon lords are fighting become that well we're here to stop that if you want to obstruct us from it and let the city destroy, that's on you. But I guess we don't know what constitutes a good guy for you. So far, most of the drow seem to be slavers, and I guess you saw us free slaves, and yet you're interfering with this, so that seems to suggest you're a slaver. What I saw is someone disguising themselves as my, more than likely dead now, depending on you having their garb, former cousin and directing these slaves to a different way than the main way. Either you're collecting these people for who knows what reason, or you're causing more problems. It's what I intend to solve. Are you causing more problems or are we gonna have a problem? He, uh... We're here to stop a demon. Well, several demons, I guess. This is not answering me. My question. So we um, know that Boom is dressed as a Dorn. You said that, right? Uh, yeah. I rolled and you guys got this house. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, yeah. Is the I, real problem that you like think I cousin? killed your family member? That is not what I asked. Can I roll an insight to see if I... If that would jog my memory as to the identity of this noble drow. You don't even have to roll. He's basically stated he is a family member of them. Uh, 
when Boom said, are you implying we murdered your cousin? No, that's not what I asked. Are you causing more problems? <laughs> is what he asked. Based off of all of this, this is clearly uh, the man that you've heard about. You Drizzt the Warden. Yes. We're here from Gauntlegrim. Uh roll persuasion with advantage. Disadvantage thanks to boom, so just flat roll. Okay. Persuasion. He's pretty good. Uh DC to beat was in fact 18, so above and beyond. Hey. Uh, old friend. Alright then. I don't know why your friend's sassing me, but very well then if you are here You're to stop stopping us from killing demons i'm potentially stopping you from corralling the slaved people down here i don't know who you were he's one Only of these when people your friend said it who you were do i know who you are you were just <laughs> giving me sass young man if you saw us crawling slaves you would have seen that they went with another drow Yes, with no markers or indicators. I have no idea who they are. Well, I have to wonder if you're a slaver, if you're so worried about people you regard as property. I He's never once slavers? mentioned them as property. I said people. The other drow is a follower of Saloon. Right? The dancing lady? Uh, out of game, yes. Uh, in game, uh, he himself is not. But you, I know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you tell him this, and he does state. All right, then. Uh, oh, hmm. He's gonna roll a perception check or investigation to see if he remembers if they had any markers. He would have advantage because he was spying on things. 18 plus modifier does work. All right, then. That would make sense with the non spider motifs. Wait, one thing at a time. All right, I believe you in this attitude aside. If you're trying to stop the demon lords, then why are you being distracted? If you already have people here helping them out, why are you also helping them out? Oh, we it might bored. help save lives. I mean, the demons were in a bit of a melee there. The more they harm each other, the easier it is for us to get involved. I mean, I don't... Oh, so you're stalling you until having... they get out of each other's way i suppose all right uh well this is i easier to kill just one wounded demon than two that are still pretty far up there fair enough i suppose you don't care about the people that's i mean you know war is messy but if we can save people that's great but hey we can stand around and talk while people are getting slaughtered out there i mean I still don't know why you're giving me attitude. But, well, you know, we're here having own. this tense com do you, We're having a tense conversation instead of saving anybody right now. Look, why is that happening? If you want to save people, I suggest you go into the water temple immediately. I will take care of the people here. Is that good enough for you? For me. Right. Oh, hey, well, I've got you. Do you remember having a sword of Isaac he gave to somebody? Quite some years ago, but not currently with me. Where, where do you, do you know, like, where his home is or whatever? Uh, last time I saw him, he was heading towards uh, the north in Frostwind Dale. Hey, right there, Dan Frostwind... Okay, thank you, Chris Dorden. Uh, right. Warrior like you, of Legends. Don't really care for your uh, tabaxi friend. Not the shorter one. No offense. <laughs> he, uh, I'm a drow woman right now, so yeah. how does he know that? He's one of these people who acts like how he's dressed. So uh, uh, He does state your disguise, but your mannerism gives you away. I'm a very good hunter. Now then, do what you need to do. I need to go help people, I suppose. And apologies, but I did move. Well, actually, he wouldn't know this part. Uh, thankfully enough, I was able to find the thing that they were drawn towards. I have no idea who put it inside the city. Uh, but I did move it towards the water temple. So now they hopefully are heading that direction. Which of these Why did he tell us to go there temple? then? Uh, he shows you directions. Or, like, gives you directions. 
So you're just telling us to go fight both of them at the same time now? No, hopefully while they go there, they one of them at least dies along the way. All right. <clears throat> I guess we'll uh, take all the credit for demon killing, huh? So, it's all I'm yours. Just gonna, just gonna lead slaves. All right. Thought you had some fancy swords or something. He like goes back to the shadow. He does state, "You wanted to save people." Do you not care for that anymore? That was him. I was bored. I'll admit I seem to be in the minority in this group. I'm not Uh, seeing a whole lot of goblins amongst the slaves. Uh, (laughs) It's still in the shadows. You do see, like, some drow in the area are still, you know, corralling people. And out of nowhere, they begin to die one by one. Uh, And near you guys, you do state, look, I have this covered. (laughs) If my friend this state you are here to save everyone from these demon lords, I trust him. And in ipso facto, I trust all of you. <laughs> Winning smile. Good luck. And he's like back in the shadows and you believe he's now gone <laughs> with Toulouse's incredible past perception. Um, he's was seriously that guy cool. again? He's like the one good drow besides the other good drow that we met. He's a friend of sure Brunner Battlehammer. Me. Found Gauntlegrim with him. <laughs> were you not, I guess, were you not listening to the king when he was telling the drinking stories? Dude killed a dragon. I was off himself. minding my own business. I. I... I was way out of my element. I was off minding my own business. You notice I let everybody else put together our super competent strike team. <laughs> uh, slash the state. To be fair, you were dressed as a matriarch. Immediately with deception would cause someone not to trust you almost immediately. I thought Slash left with their slaves. Uh, at this point in time, she did come back. Okay. Like, that was a while ago, well, and then fair, she came I... back, and then, boom, disguised himself as a matriarch. Uh, adjacent. Good. Well, it's fair for her not to want to trust me, but wouldn't it have made more sense for him to just to attack us all? I mean, with the exception if he was of evil. you, Slash, we all look like outsiders. Yeah, that should have been your first hint that he wasn't a bad dude. That he was threatening me? Yeah, instead of just straight murdering you. It sounded more intimidation than a threat. He, and you do realize he did not draw out any weapons. He was just <laughs> asking you, although intimidating wise, who you were. <laughs> that being said, though, you don't have to like him. <laughs> well, that's good because I most certainly do not. Yeah. <laughs> I will not oh, be yeah. subscribing to his fan club. <laughs> yeah. That uh, being said, didn't I didn't play him exactly him correct, but eh, whatever. Read the books if you want an actual depiction of him. Anyways, you move <laughs> forwards. Uh, you can tell that more and more uh, drow slavers are dying while you wander the streets heading towards the water temple. It is slavers an old... Slavers or slaves? Slavers. Okay. He's doing his job. All right, that, that's perfect. I'm fine with that. Just yeah, the main. Make sure. I can explain this after game, but the main reason he's here is for things. Anyways, uh, oh, yeah. heading towards his direction, uh, he was able to identify where the talisman is, and he was able to get it away from the city to make sure not as many casualties die. All oh, right, but then he brought it to the water temple, which is where we're bringing all the cat or uh, refugees. No. Uh, it's heading somewhere else. Hmm. Uh, they are heading somewhere else. The person you asked to send them to the water temple there is the guy that's getting back up. He's not doing that right now. So no one is currently there. Okay. Sure. Uh, anyways... <laughs> Uh, heading towards his direction, you do see that the final uh, demon lord 
uh, is felled before facing off the last one. And it is the more or less, uh, what are they called? Gargoyle looking one. And I'll now bring you there. Uh, no, not monkey face guy. Just gargoyle with humanoid face looking guy. Uh, as you enter inside the area, you <clears throat> do see a good handful of lesser demons, but still powerful ones. Uh, in fact, you face some of them beforehand. And nearing the heart of the temple is the even larger uh, demon lord. Standing at a good scale above everyone, uh, this creature does have two protruding heads of simian quality. Uh, their hands look more like whips with tendril uh, gnaws at the end and a tail that almost looks like razor wire. Right now, they do have what appears to be a dark uh, heart in in their hand, which you know is the uh, thing that drew them all here. And after a while, it does crush it in its hand. It's not gaining any power. It's just realized that it was drawn here and just destroyed it. Dyke. And uh, when that is gone, it's now instinctive thought is to find something else. And you might be within range of that something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, put it at 300 feet like I thought I did. Right here, now you're not perceived by the creature as it seems to be looking around potentially for another meal. Uh, what do you guys do? Here. How damaged does it look? It does look damaged. It's definitely not, you know, uh, <laughs> unhurt. But it is not dead. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Well, looks like there are uh, plenty of other nasties nearby. Those look familiar. Did we fight those already? You have fought on these similar? things before. Uh, you do see two of them head towards this uh, abomination that I believe you were given the name of Demigorgon. Uh, as two of them lunge towards the creature, one of them does swipe into the side of it. But as it does so, a tendrilled hand grapples the creature and just smashes it inside their hand much like the talisman soon after the other one heads towards it but the two simian heads look towards it and immediately that creature stops as if paralyzed maybe by fear maybe by something else and then the two simian uh mouths just bite into the other demon uh, causing it to die Uh, yeah, if rather... that's what you want. Is he... Uh, does he look stronger? Yeah. Above and beyond, is the big guy them? is stronger. And he has... Roll perception checks with disadvantage because you're pretty far away. I'll give oh, to lose standard flat roll because of how high. And Brat, what was your passive perception again? Is it 18? Oh. Okay, boom is good. Toulouse is fine. Uh, Kobo not the great. And Gothos, that's a four because disadvantage. And. <laughs> Would have been good. Uh, Brat, was your passive perception 18 or above? No, minus 16. Then disadvantage for you too. Yeah, but I normally have advantage. Fair enough. I forget about that. Uh, 18 yeah, is not enough. Eyes. But you have boom and to lose to uh, switch it up. Uh, you can tell that the demon uh, Demigorgon is getting healthier. The longer it's like 
sustaining itself. Uh, it doesn't feel like it is immediately as healthy as it could be, but it definitely feels as if uh, the longer you wait, the more likely uh, other things will happen. And uh, because both of you rolled quite well, uh, DC to beat was 19 to see how it's doing and 20 to see other things. You can tell immediately when these things died uh, that Demigorgon was doing an intimidation primal instinct whole don't do this or else you die kind of thing. So the other ones are not like heading towards it. It's doing the whole pack leader thing. I am the alpha. Yeah. yeah. So well, these guys are going to start obeying him so they don't die. Okay. Maybe, yeah. Yep. We better wait in on this before he starts getting stronger again. Or we have a shit ton of enemies on us. Yeah. Are we going to sneak or uh, run? Because I'm fast, but not sneaky. Be fast. Hit him hard. And fast. All right. And, uh, and then... You... But he was boom, 300 feet it, away. He is 300 feet away. And at this point, I do want everyone to go ahead and roll turn order. <laughs> Once they go into the fray, they will roll turn order in turn, depending on what you do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I advantage 2018. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 10 and 19 for Nom Nom. Luckily, I'm not the slowest in the party. Phew! <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, 10 and 2. Uh, what okay. a killer roll for pretty much everybody. Yeah. Except Slash, but you know, someone has to go at the end. Okay, uh, here's how things going to go. Somebody has to get eaten by the demons. Uh, we're going to go in turn <laughs> order until potentially they enter into fray. You've dealt with a demon lord beforehand, and you know that they have sometimes uh, true sight, devil sight, a very high passive perception, uh, and other things. I'm just reminding you of those things. However, this one has been weakened because it's been fighting, but it's not at all dead. It won for a reason. Uh, what you do now may or may not kill your characters, or you may survive and be the heroes of this tale. Good luck. Uh, Toulouse, you're up first. Okay. Um, we... So we're 300 fucking feet away from this thing? So far. Yes. Do we get any bonus or anything for natural 20s on initiative, or do we just get to go first? You just get to go first. Know, <laughs> hey, this is the last fight. I just want to make sure. Are we... Uh... Are we just going to bum rush this, or are we trying to sneak? There's, there's a lot of water. I don't know how deep it is. Luce, what I, do you think? I'm I'm voting. I already voted for quick. Yeah. Let's uh, at least go quick, but use those pillars to stay out of sight of the thing, at least. I will kinda like, quickly, discreetly. That's kind of like stealth, right? Ah. Uh... <laughs> You're the one that can't be stealthy, so... <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll move... Uh, shit, let me zoom out, sorry. So something. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Oh, wow. This is huge. Um... Can it really be fighting in the remains of the destroyed city, but I, you made this map a while ago. <laughs> Looks nice. Did not have I want time to hit him with something. Change. What about my arrow sling? What range does that have? Uh, that's me. That's it's a hand crossbow. Yeah, that's 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 not gonna work. Okay, I'll go get as close as I can. Okay, uh, I believe you have a speed of thirty feet. If you use cat-like reflexes, you have total of ninety feet. And that's burning everything. Yeah. No, that's... Well, burning your movement, your nope. action, and your uh, ability. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that is all right. 
Uh, however, you also and... are a rogue, so you might have <laughs> an additional thing for a bonus action. Um, uncanny dodge, cunning action. Starting at second level, you I have cunning action. Is that it? I take a bonus think. action each turn. I know rogues can do additional things with a bonus action. And I dash. think when, yeah, yeah, I can dash with it. And one of them is a movement. Cunning action, dash. And what's the tabaxi thing? The tabaxi. Uh, they can uh, move an additional movement speed. Uh, however, they do gut their speed uh, next turn. You can double your speed until the end of turn. Oh, so then if they can dash as a bonus action as a rogue, could they not, you know, go 60, 60, 60? Because it doubles your speed. So it takes your speed right. from 30 to 60. Yeah, so it'd be 120 feet. The next feet. turn I'll be winded. I'll be like, but if you use yeah, the Yeah, you can't one. move on your next turn. Well, you, don't well, you can have still to do... move normally. You just can't reset the uh, oh, ability yeah. until you spend a turn not moving. Yeah. Sorry. I said it wrong. <laughs> My bad. So, yeah, it'll give you a burst, but you, it doesn't help you for sustained run because it'll average out to the same speed as just doing normal dashes. But, it, no, if you just dash on this turn and then, yeah. yeah for one burst, you're good. Okay. You could get 100. I'll use it. I'll do it. Okay. Cause wow. you're, yeah, because you're a rogue. Wow. Meow. Uh, your Let's speed go. is now doubled. Uh, so you can 60. spend an action or a movement uh, to get 60. And then you can use your uh, action to go 60 since it's double your speed. So 30 becomes 60. And you can and use your bonus can... action, rogue, uh, to go another 60. So that, how much is that in total? Nice. I'm going to get right behind this pillar and try to hide. Okay. That is, well, if you want to hide, hiding is an action. Yeah, that is okay, true. I mean, but, just... hmm. I'm going to go ahead and make you roll acrobatics to see if you're quick enough that no one spots you. Okay, acrobat. And I'll allow this for everyone else, too, that isn't a rogue. Flat roll? Uh, yeah. No, no. Acrobatics. <laughs> Nice. Uh, this is kind of your thing. Oh, so kind of Boone's thing, because both of you are tabaxi. Loose runs but... <laughs> across the fucking water. You just bolt him. through the area. Uh, DC to beat was 15, so you <laughs> went above and beyond. Uh, and you get inside the pillars before anyone takes notice. You're making action noises. That wouldn't work. But I think it's right there where I ended up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'll use your acrobatics to be your current stealth. So you're pretty stealth. Uh, but that is your turn. Uh, Gothos. Well, I'm not that fast. Okay, uh, but you do so... have Tannhauser. Yeah. So the way Tannhauser works, I have to do 10 feet for a running leap. And then for every foot of movement that I have, it gets tripled. So I can go 70 feet for... Is... Is a running leap in action, or could I then dash for 100 feet? Uh, a running leap would be your mound's uh, action, so you can still do whatever you need to do. I mean, like... Leaping isn't, like, a full action, right? Like, Tannhauser could still dash as an action after that. I believe it's just a yes movement. Yes or no? Okay. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna dash as an action to try and get thirty feet and then leap because then I'll be able to use all thirty of my regular movement for the the big leap. So that'll be yeah one because it's tripled ninety plus the thirty for the dash is one twenty. Let me check my math on that. Does that sound? Dash action for 30, and then it gets tripled, so another 90. Yeah, that's 120. I'm just gonna go there, though. Okay, same yeah. as the loose. 
uh, if you want to try to stealth, you would have to roll acrobatics. I sure will do that because there's no reason not to. Giving it for free. Because uh, it's for stealth, do you want disadvantage or are you just going to let me flail? No, this is just like you moving as fast as possible before anyone spots you. And then flying through the air. Yeah. Uh, acrobatics. <gasps> oh. I should not so have close. said the DC. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, they don't oh, immediately oh. go, uh, but you can tell that the Demigorgon uh, has perceived you. H hasn't, like, spotted you immediately, but is aware that something moved in that direction. Uh... I believe, Gothos, you technically still have your turn. That was your entire Malin's turn. What do you do? Um, me. I cast Death Ward upon myself. Mm hmm. And. That's it. Okay. Uh, Cubo. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, not a hundred percent sure. I'm pretty sure he's gonna notice. Um, so we're running up to attack, right? So we're logged what you got. I mean, we want to, we'd like to get him, you know, we'd like to get to him without all the other demons converging on us. That'd be great. Okay. Um, I'll see what I can do there. Um, the best I can do is a distraction. Mm. Too early. Okay. In that case, I'm going to uh, try and go, uh, let's see, what is it, 25 and 25, I can move 50 feet. Oh wait, no, I can only move 25 feet because I'm going to use my action, right, yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to use my movement to try and get up here in between these rocks, hopefully hiding and I am going to reach into my pocket and pull out a small silver whistle and very gently blow it once tweet what is the item and what are you trying to do <laughs> a dog whistle to demons <laughs> oh better than that it's the whistle you gave us a long time ago that and tells me so nothing the, yeah, <laughs> what does it hold do on, hold on. It is the whistle of I kill demons. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have given you that. Copy. It's this thing, it's this thing. Oh yeah, the summoning whistle. You had said That is yep, not a that quiet it's thing. thing. <laughs> uh it's not a quiet whistle? I can't no. just blow gently on it. Does it have to be loud? Yeah, because or else the creatures cannot hear you in the distance. <laughs> like, normally it's like a loud burst of sound or a horn uh, that summons things. It's not like a toot. <laughs> you know in what? In that case, uh, I, will... I, I will allow it. Roll stealth, DC to beat. 15. I, I made the last one 15. Okay. Uh, good luck to... Yes. Uh... Okay. Uh, you like cover in sand and like dampen the sound and just blow the whistle. Uh, summoning... Uh, what are you summoning? A one quarter CR pixie. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. 
I assume because you want to do a polymorph thing, because everyone that summons a pixie does the polymorph thing. Exactly. Uh, do you have the stats? I can get them in half a second. As the pixie shows up, I uh, very quickly thank her for showing up. This is a desperate situation. I need you for one task only. And then I need you to stay out of the way so you don't get hurt. And you can maintain concentration on your spell. Pixie's male, by the way, but sure. Oh, this pixie's male? Okay, sorry. No, nah, it's just the first one I found. The <laughs> one underneath it is female. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. It's just the first one I grabbed. That's... <laughs> That works. Okay, so I summoned up one pixie and I got that far and I'm crouching down behind rocks. So hopefully we're still being at least semi-sneaky. Um, that is my go. Okay, uh, pixie goes on your turn. Uh, what do you do? Uh, what does the pixie do? You should have control of it. Okay, um, what, I, um, what I already told the pixie, thank you for coming, is like when I give you the signal, I'm gonna polymorph on Echo, that little bat that's around uh, the tabaxi, and I point back to, uh, I point back to, uh, Boom? to Boom. Yeah, and I say, I'm going to need you to cast Polymorph on his bat familiar and turn it into a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then I need you to make it fly, and then I need you to get away so you don't lose concentration on the spell. I don't know if it can polymorph. cast more than one spell at a time. Can it? Well, they can cast one, and then on the next round, cast the next. Okay. Because you're asking me to do a lot on one turn. But I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Not on one turn. I'm, you, these are the instructions I've given you. Tur when I give the signal, so not right now, but when I give the signal, round one, polymorph um, to giant uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Round two, um, cast fly on the Tyrannosaurus Rex, so it's a flying Tyrannosaurus Rex. And three is get out of the way so you don't get hurt. Yeah, so I got it now. be three rounds, but that was the simple task that I need him to perform. Listen, pal, I'm going to do one, and then I'm fucking right off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you coming. Uh, Nod says all of that. Uh, <laughs> nom nom. Uh, <laughs> not exactly the fastest person in the world. Uh, yeah, he's going to get behind rocks, too. Uh, I'll try to get him here and roll stealth. Although I don't know how great his stealth is. It is... Average. Yeah. See, if we had brought the... If we had brought the, uh, three, uh... Bards, I could have turned all three of them into flying directions with Trexus, but we don't have enough people. <laughs> Anyways, that's his turn. Ah, uh, Bracht. Oh, it, it, it's time to eat. Bye, yeah, you fool. I, I will dash to here. Okay. Flying speed moves in. Uh, are you trying to, like, Dash in so you aren't seen, or like dash as far as possible. I I will try to stay unseen. Uh, acrobatics. Uh, double check. Do I have advantage on this? Nope. Acrobatics. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm great at this. Trust me. <laughs> Ooh, close. Uh. <laughs> While the smaller demons don't see you or perceive you, Jamie Gorgon has like kept an eye in that area, so it makes sense that he saw you. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I failed because um, yeah, it's clock this big guy because, because Gertus uh, already made it notice us. Yes, we can make <laughs> that be the thing. I, I can actually hey, you know, hiding spot. <laughs> <laughs> Just shouts that out. Uh, anything else? <laughs> Um... Sure, why not? I, I am going buff. I'm gonna use Giant Might. So I, I'm big now. 
Okay. Larg. There's like no way of hiding at this point, and you've already been spotted, so. Yeah. Roll him <laughs> up. Okay. And that is your turn, I believe. So that is boom. Boom, All for right. sure, you can tell uh, a good portion of your team has been spotted. So there's that. You see where the attention has been drawn? Uh, the now bigger uh, Brack. It's like he was kind of hidden before and then he grew and is just like half out of the hiding spot. All right, well, I guess I'll uh, hope that I don't screw up Toulouse's thing here. Um, so as a bonus, a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and trigger Blade Song, And I'm going to go ahead and actually, hold on. I think there's some stuff I have to turn on for that. Uh, let's see. Yep, that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and so with my movement and using Feline of Agility, to give me a move of 200, so I should be able to catch up to Toulouse. Although I do have a question. So there's this big platformy thing or whatever, and so Toulouse is standing near what looks like a pillar. How tall is this? Like, is it easy to run up these steps or whatever? Uh, for a dramatic effect, they look bigger than they are, uh, but they're pretty easy to like stand step over. They're like uh, half a foot tall each step they were made for mortal frames all right and does that apply to the back end or the northmost end of this platform thingy uh the platform stand itself stands roughly around maybe five feet tall max uh steps <laughs> are like half a foot there should be more but this is simple math uh, the pillars themselves stand at maybe 10 feet tall the roof of the ceiling is around 30 feet all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and, fingers crossed, make the run. Whoops, might help if I um, use the right uh, mode. So I'll go ahead and zip my way on up here and uh, try and park here next to Toulouse. And you said I have to make an acrobatics check to try to do this sneaky like, right? Yeah, you're basically like, trying to dive uh, in an area before being spotted. All right, let's see what happens, because I am not super great at acrobatics. I will take the 21. Yeah. <laughs> uh, DC was 15, as mentioned beforehand, and you succeed with flying colors. Uh, let's see. We definitely go... intentionally set up a sweet pincer movement. Flash can go... 120 max because she doesn't have feline agility uh so she's gonna try to get at this right sided pillar so everyone isn't grouped up uh, a loose would you benefit from a bunker at all a what a was um i'm actually planning on uh turning this pillar we're next to into a fortification um, I'm hoping we can protect ourselves from the enemies, but still have ways we can dart in and out to attack. Okay. Oh, so sounds stuff. pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, your team has been spotted, uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, so far, because he's far enough away, Kobo has not been spotted just yet. Uh, Nom Nom, surprisingly enough, did pass. Slash pass with flying colors. Two stealth boys also pass without any issue. And then there's like the giant and the man in a lot of armor. Surprise, surprise. Uh, hey. Because the demon lord <laughs> spotted two of you uh, for its main action. Uh, actually, let's see if it rolls to see if it goes before anyone else. But for sure, it is not in any way surprised. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Does it have any initiative bonuses? Oh, just plus two. Okay. It just needs to roll well. Uh, 19. Good thing we mostly rolled pretty fucking bomb. Yep. Uh, Run the coffee! Is 
are they faster than Nom Nom? And I close their <laughs> character sheet. I don't know why. I still need it. Uh. Oh, wow. Nom Nom's actually <laughs> surprisingly enough faster. So they are correct where they are. All right. Uh, Toulouse, uh, you can see that the Demon Lord has spotted you. It is about to do something on its turn. More than likely, you know, shout at the other demons that you guys are here. But it hasn't done that yet. Oh. Um... 120 feet. How far away is he? Uh, from you now... Aha! Uh -huh. 85 feet. About 80 feet. Am I able to... No, because you can't use your double speed thing again. You are able so to move 30, 30. and be within range of uh -oh. a... Hypnotic, hypnotic, hypnotic pattern. <laughs> uh, I was You're about to close. say... you got to be 120 uh, feet away. <laughs> Wow. You can likely move into frame and take a shot at long range, or you can use your spells. But 120 feet is within range. I have to be 120 feet away from him to use it? Within no, that no. limit. Oh, okay. And you are. And you are. Range. Yeah. I'm in range. I'm going to try to use this on him. All right. You create a twisting pattern of color that wears through the air. 30 feet cube within range. The pattern appears within a moment eh, each creature in the area. So uh, you can easily do this. How and where do you place it? On him. Nobody's up there yet. So oh, yeah, yeah that's certainly him. true. <laughs> Those two died. Yeah. They, they got nom noms. No, 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 no. Uh, fighting. Uh. I am too zoomed out <laughs> to get accurate measurement. I, I know the uh, problem. I was okay. looking at the map like, hmm, all those creatures are small. They're all smaller than five <laughs> feet. Oh, wait, that's nine squares. Yeah, they're, okay. it's a pretty big map there. Yeah. It's a whopper pretty. of a map. Okay, you easily surround this creature. Nice. Uh, within range on the failed save, wisdom saving throw, and this is a magical effect. And unfortunately, this guy does have advantage on that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah. Question, is it not immune to being charmed? You don't know that in-game. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, I, I'm just asking so you, you know if you, you have You don't to know that in-game. <laughs> Okay, that that is good enough. I was just trying to be nice and helpful, Doug, but magic isn't real, Bract. Shut to up. Me? Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh to your team. <laughs> maybe not the best idea. Uh twelve plus modifier, six plus modifier. Uh wisdom is a plus eleven, so it does pass. Oh Dang. plus eleven, that's a wise oh, demon. <laughs> okay. Um Um, make sure I have my mage hand out so I can try to distract it later. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's it for me because, um, boom, you said you're gonna do a thing here. Yeah, I'm gonna give us a bunker. Okay, so I will. Just I be aware that, that thing's can... probably gonna move before I can do anything. Hopefully, he can't get far enough. I tried to, I wanted to try to, oh yeah. Like, it hasn't noticed um, you just yet. Uh, to loose, you can use your bonus action, uh, to stealth again. Okay. So roll stealth? Uh, yes. Bonus action hide? Can a rogue do that? I believe so. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Sense. I have seen a no. few of my rogues do that. <laughs> Unless they're cheating. We are joking. 
It's a very, it's like the roguish thing you can do. Okay. Mm, no, it says you can't. It's so weird. Sorry, I forget that my monotone voice doesn't change. Okay. <laughs> but I'm joking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you stealth just fine. I hide. I hide. I hide. I'm sorry. I wasted my spell. Don't know what. It's not a waste um, if any other demons in the area, like, they will have to roll. So, you know, bonus. Last for a minute, unless you make another concentration spell. Uh, but yeah. Gothos. Now, what the heck do I do? Because... <clears throat> does Gothos even know we've been spotted? Is it obvious? It was almost immediately obvious as one of the heads, like, turned towards you and the other one turns towards you when Brat became a giant. Whatever, on this turn, he can move wherever to have a line of sight on me, so screw it. Uh, what's my range? Why am I... I can't... What? Hmm, my ruler thing got minimized somehow. That's annoying. <laughs> um... You didn't know that was possible. Do, do, do. But you know. Yeah, it was, I was like, where's the icon? I'm like what? Uh, it was weird. I didn't like it. Sir. Then it's just gonna be really fast, isn't it? God damn it! Whatever. Set up the pincer movement. Be a tank. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna hold action to. Attack once in range. Uh, um, you're more than welcome to do that. However, if you do like run out like that and don't go into stealth, this time I'm not going to give you a freebie. The other demons would likely be able to spot you. Oh sure, yeah. No, I was doing the Tannhauser leap thing, so that's as that's as quiet as I can be. It's sailing through the air. Uh, you want me to roll for that? One Tannhauser roll for that. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Because they technically can. That's true. That's true. It's a good thing they're still level three, huh? Uh, acrobatics is the same modifier as B. Uh, this time it's just stealth. Is a much better modifier than me. <laughs> well, that was oh. a bad roll. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the demon to the south of you knows that you're there. Maybe the others do as well, but you know that one knows you're there. The main reason it was acrobatics because you were sprinting max movement, and I wanted to give you guys something. You guys still mm -hmm. had something, so now it's just fair game. Are you leaving your spider behind, Gurtos? No, I didn't realize it didn't bring her with me. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna attack the first thing that comes into range. Uh, mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Uh, hang on. Um, I think spiritual weapon is a bonus action. Uh, spiritual weapon is right? a bonus action. Okay, I'm gonna do. Ooh, those are demons. This is gonna be worth it. No, I'll hold off on it for now. Okay. Uh, Kobo. Yeah, I'm just holding the action. Okay. Okay, these demons haven't actually moved yet. Uh, you know that the one to the south of Gothos has noticed him, but the other ones have not moved. Also, I forgot to mention Gothos makes rude gestures at this fiendish lord. Well, Your team polite. has always been sassy. I just assumed at this point. Tannhauser does it too. Oh, that would not be Tannhauser's character. Also, 
Dan Hauser doesn't have fingers to flip the bird with. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Just doing uh, the like, f flick under your chin thing. Uh, Kobo, you're able to move without too much of an issue. Is there anything else you're doing? Um. I'm gonna put my whistle away, and I'm gonna reach into my pocket and grab a stone, and get ready with the stone. As uh, um, I don't see Echo here on the map. Where Echo is right next to Boom. If you don't, guys, don't change the location of your familiars. I just have them next to you. All right, and then the he, the pixie guy, is gonna fly up. However far he goes. Well, I guess they're just gonna need to be a token for Echo if Echo is gonna be running around as a monster. Yeah. He, he's gonna fly up ahead because he knows who to uh, cast it on when I yell the signal. And I've got my stone ready. Um, Brat, do you have just a weapon and an open hand? Do you have a shield in your other hand? Nope. I uh, I'm holding a two-handed weapon. Brat carries no Both shield. Hands. Okay, but you, you, with both hands, you don't have a free hand open. Uh, currently, I probably have. Um, can I throw something 35? Uh, athletics or acrobatics? I'll let you choose, but yeah. But it will be a bonus action. Okay. Um... I reach into my side, my left side pouch, and I pull out a uh, small bottle, and I just heads up, rack, you know, catch, and chuck it. Okay. Good luck to me. Thirty-five feet what? isn't that far, and it's not impossible as a human to do that, let alone people with magic. DC to be twelve. Yeah, you just oh, get it towards Brad without an issue. What did okay, you hand him? Do I need? I, I'm I'm gonna I'm using my reaction to catch. I guess. Nah, I'll give you a free action. Okay. What did you throw yeah. at me? Drink it. He, he said potion. potion. Uh, if you do okay. drink it, it will eat your reaction. Okay, sure. I will drink it as a reaction. You what, don't know what it is. Why would you drink it? What? What did he drink? <laughs> maybe, 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 because I it's trust Kobe not to poison the person that will probably keep him alive. Really? Were you not vulnerability. He now Were has you? half damage to everything. Cool. Oh, great! I don't have to rage. Nice. <laughs> and but hey, you're not even if you really don't want to rage. <laughs> no. Hey, but yeah, your your rage is for like bludgeoning, piercing, and uh, slashing. This is for fire, right. ice, and everything else. Fire, yeah, ice, ice, water, uh, everything except for I think force. No, I think it's half damage. Let me let me double check that. I thought it was half damage to all types of damage for one minute. Okay, so so I'm taking, uh, so I'm taking quarter for slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's what I was. Yeah. You do the math. Thinking. I'm not going to. Uh huh. I, I already have woken so up. It seems like I, you're also, doing... I also booted up my work laptop so I can do math. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, but, yeah, Kobo, I'll trust you. Uh, just let me know if anything else changes. But, yeah, uh, half damage with anything. Uh, I believe that is your entire turn, though, Kobo. Um, yeah. Um, he moved. My little pixie friend moved. I moved. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, do you know the range of Brad Polymorph? Because my... if he can do it, he can just do it. Um, I haven't given him the single to do it yet, but it's 60 feet, so he's a little... I don't know what the... He's a little shy of it. Of, uh, pixie is. Yeah. But next time. So next round, I guess. I mean, he can move, um, like, another 10 feet, and he'd be within range for next turn. But that'd be eating up an action he hasn't used. Oh. Well, in that case, um... Yeah, he's gonna like flitter like over here, like under the little parapist thing there, trying to be you know small and tucked up out of the way, just hiding. But yeah, if you get up close enough, he can burn his action and do the double movement. And my, so my uh, bonus action was throwing the potion. Uh, my movement was moving, and my action was pulling a stone out of my pocket and being ready to use it 
Yeah, you're holding your action. Yeah. Uh, what's the trigger? Um. If this guy moves, attacks, has a spell, or does anything, or if anybody else attacks or gets attacked, you know, the combat start. Mm -hmm. Then it immediately procs. <laughs> Why, we already have somebody attacking? No, it's just like they are they aware are. of you. Combat has started, oh. uh, but I digress. Oh. Uh, oh, in that case, yeah, I'll go ahead and just use the action instead of holding it. Okay. Uh, Earth Elemental is summoned. I believe they are a large beast. Uh, I'm pretty sure you already have the thing for it as well, and I think it's in Discord. Yep, Earth Elemental, large. It goes on your turn. What does it do? Um, right now, I think I want him to... I point this direction and say, start with them, but kill all demons. All of them, until they're dead. Do not stop. But start that direction. Uh, and I didn't see a go. direction, but sure. Sorry. Hold right on. side. It's fine. You're controlling them. <laughs> yep. So he has a... Okay. Uh, at an initiative 20, uh, a layer action does form. Uh, as you guys begin to look for this thing, getting ready to charge, and now some of the smaller demons are aware that you guys are there, at least some of you, Elemental mm. and Gothos, uh, this thing begins to sh shout. Uh, however, when it shouts for a split second, you saw four monkey heads. <laughs> Uh, as if a spectral image just sh sheened around it and like it gave a little what's it called uh after image after image thank you that is the layer action and now its own turn this guy has a fantastic swimming speed but the water temple is <laughs> nearly lack thereof so, it just has to move. Thank you. Uh, actively, <laughs> it is aware of Gothos and uh, Bract. So, for, for its movement, it does head towards your guys' direction. Unaware of Boom and Toulouse. Probably closer. Indeed. Uh, and for its main action, I will state that it shouts out towards the other demons, uh, saying something... Uh, in all languages. Oh. But mainly Inferno. So you know what it says, and it just states, There are creatures among us, and those hiding, find and devour. And, like, immediately they get to roll their initiatives, finally. Uh, I'll make a group of the left and a group of the right. To the left, to the left. Hmm. Uh, 19 and 9. So I'm going to say below Nom Nom and above Slash. Okay, and I'll have that guy represent right and this guy represent left. Not the best thing in the world, but hey, <laughs> they finally get to do something. I fear that you would kill them before they did anything. Uh, that okay. it's its main action. I'm not going to have it attack because, you know, having more enemies know where you are is a good thing for it. I was going to say, well, that's bad. 
Uh, now I'm realizing that he could potentially be spotted. Goes over to uh, where Slash is, using all their movement just to get behind someone that could potentially keep them safe and get closer to the group so he can potentially heal. Uh, My face is pushing. Holding an action to keep uh, a spell saved, the right board then activates uses their entire movement speed to get here. Um, yep, movement of 30. Uses their entire movement speed to get here. Movement to get here. Ignore that weird back and forth thing. Never. <laughs> and here. That is the right side of the board. Bracked. Oh, I would like to rage. You rage. I rage. So then I will eat myself. In very a very funny. dashing matter. To over here. And then I will attack the Demi Gorgon with reckless abandonment. Okay. And as I will, uh, oh yeah. Also, I before before we do that, I have to check what I roll for rage. What do I? What does my wild wild search what? table say? My wild search table says number two. Number two. Ah, great! I can make this movement with, without dashing. Yay! You are there. Yeah, yeah. That, no, no. I I started raging before I moved, so so because I can teleport thirty feet. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm just saying, like, uh, you are yeah. still there. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm still there. Yes, yes. Now it just means that I have an action and movement, an action surge. Yeah. Let's swing in. Okay. So let that swing in with reckless abandon. Uh, the 26 hit. A 26 does. Oh, yeah, okay, that was not a great weapon master, so that is only 24 points of radiant damage. Okay, let's see if they are hurt further than normal. Surprisingly enough, no, which has always struck me weird. Okay. And, and this time, let's pre uh, press the correct button. That's a 22 hit. A 22, surprisingly enough, does hit. Okay, so that is 32 points of damage. Okay. Uh, and I, then, then we will use our action surge. To swing once more, to swing some more. So 22 hits, 23 hits. So that is another 31 points of damage. Uh, another 31. Oh. Okay, and this is a crit. Air horns. Burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. Oh. <laughs> and it is a 41. Uh, 44 points of damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, you strike this thing hard. Uh, luckily, surprised by this. Uh, it isn't dead, but it's definitely hurt. Uh, thankfully enough, with Reckless, <laughs> you... Man, that crit hit hard. Uh, anything else? No, that, that that's it. Action, bonus, action, action. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to clarify, when does the wild magic uh, surge? Like at the start of your turn or when you attack? What? Uh, well, uh, the wild magic surge is uh, is when I start raging. Okay, cool. Just making and sure so, uh, things pop correctly. Is, yeah, and uh, did it. And and for the rest of my rage, every time I take a bonus action, I can teleport thirty feet. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> I rolled. I still heard it. <laughs> uh, anything else? Oh wait, you just said no. Okay. If you want me to swing more, let, just let me know. Nah. Uh, <laughs> it's just gonna hit you with something. Uh, immediately looking at you, it surprisingly enough looks towards you. Uh, you can tell when the other demon like tried to attack this thing. Uh, it like stunned in place, so you know looking at this thing could be potentially dangerous, or it looking at you rather. Uh, you do it could potentially like look away or do you like meet its gaze face to face but if you do so you might have to roll something if you look away uh, you will have to look away f- until your next turn I- I'm looking at its feet okay uh, immediately pass the save however you're currently not able to look at it until the start of your next turn okay. which could be dangerous uh, that's its so legendary reaction. Anyway, so. Uh, boom. All right. So while waiting for my turn to come around, I was going to ask Toulouse. Um, I'm planning a bunker with two doors to the north and one to the east. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Is that going to be an enclosed bunker? No, it has it doors. It is. Um, well, yeah, the, the, the openings are going to be just big enough for a medium sized creature to fit through. Um, and no larger, and then the walls, rather than being perfectly vertical, are all going to slant inward at the top so that they intersect this uh, central pillar so that it essentially kind of doubles as a ceiling. Um, And it looks like that pillar is pretty much solid. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of relying on that as an internal wall to use for cover. So, um, but yeah, so I'm casting Wall of Stone, and the layout that you see there is what I'm doing with the sides tilted inwards to make it a bunker and that's my turn okay for sure there's no way they did not see that but you know you are surrounded so <laughs> oh um i guess i'll send echo out of the bunker towards the <laughs> right mm, you don't know this plan in that case i don't you, send echo. as someone that scouts with the familiar I can honestly see you sending out familiar to keep an eye on things since you can see it through your familiar's eyes. I, the thought of it backfiring and the pixie's like, well, I got one job and all of a sudden there's a Tyrannosaurus in there in the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you, air quotes, send out your familiar to scout? That would be a good tactical move and a great way to uh, not metagame. He's like, but dinosaur in the bunker. No, that would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Squish you, break the bunker walls, ruin your plan. No, oh, we can't hear you, Boom. Are you muted? Um, yeah, you lose. I do. The reason the sprite didn't cast the spell before I moved. Uh, um, it wasn't because, told to. Uh, I had to, I, I had to summon it first. By the time I pulled out the whistle and was able to summon it, you were gone so fast. Yeah. First turn, because I'm like second to last in initiative order. I guess I that's fair. The, was, I, I I didn't pull the whistle out the first turn, did I? No, because I was trying to still be stealthy. No, the first turn you went behind a rock far enough first... away that you I didn't make you roll. Uh, you blew the whistle on your first turn and you said on my signal, uh, turn that bat into a dinosaur. And then you yeah. basically had That's the... We were still trying to be stealthy, otherwise I would have just done it right then. But we were, we were still trying to be uh, a little more hush hush. Cause... I mean, it's yeah, that makes sense. It's possible Boom overheard you talking to him, or talking to the pixie, sure. Oh, yeah, that's sure didn't because tell. he was back here when I said that. But you weren't, like, next to each other. But I'm just going to say you can add a game, add a game. In-game, have your bat scout outside of the bunker. Well, if I'm going to do that, the realistic thing to do would be to have the bat go out and then land on top of the pillar that I'm hiding under. Okay, that'll work. Or, you know, it's a cavern. Hang on the ceiling. 
whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah I know. <laughs> I know a drop. Left side. Uh, it's turn. Why did I make them so far away? <laughs> Pretty sure this guy saw, you know, the stone come out of nowhere. So it uses the entire turn to get there. The other guy uses his entire turn to get closer to the elemental. Doesn't technically know that Kobo is there. And this guy will get closer. Just closer. <laughs> they are so far <laughs> away. Uh, slash. Uh, slash uses their main action to help out uh, Nom Nom to be more stealthy. <laughs> Uh, with bonuses, surprisingly enough, it is, she is able to help Nom Nom be in stealth. Uh, no power more. Power. Not from the demon lord, but from the smaller guys. Uh, with her movement speed, she uses bonus action, gets on top of here. Uh, uses acrobatics to try to get closer to Gotho, so he isn't immediately surrounded by demons. Ba, ba, ba. Acrobatics. Altruism will be the end of her. Eh. She does sustain a bit of damage. That's one point of damage, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I would half that damage, but you have to do at least one point of damage. Uh, Toulouse, that is your go. Jeez. Um, why is that guy there? Um... I'm going to go ahead and jump out this little opening here and get behind the guy. Yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared. Sorry. It's all good. <laughs> I'm like talking slow because I'm like, should I do this? Uh, yeah, I'm going to get behind him and um, slash into him with when and sneak attack damage. Because yeah. there's an ally. Yeah. Yeah, I already had my mage hand out, so... Ooh. Oh. Unfortunately, 13 uh, does not hit. Gwen, what the fuck? You... Would you have advantage because you're in stealth? Yes, you would. I could try again? Yeah. Oh, that's... Unfortunately, 22 is their AC. Oof. Oh, god damn it. Um, then I can I try with my, uh, second... Uh, my offhand attack? Or my... What is it called? My How far away have... were you? Huh? At this point, oh, next yeah. to it. I mean, when you started, you didn't have to dash to get there, did you? No. Okay. No, they're good. Yeah. Um. But you would have I to have dash to get dual there. dual wielder. I'm a dual wielder. Yeah. So you are so allowed can... to attack. Okay. So I can use... That's what I was looking for. <clears throat> Flynn... And now I've already said Damn it's it. AC, so unfortunately 19 does not hit. And because I forgot to proc this beforehand, uh, as you slash through it, uh, you see a weird after image effect and slash through that instead, causing that after image to disappear. I forgot to have it uh, proc with Bract, but you know, them's the works. Um. There was a 50 50 percent chance that you could have hit the after image or it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell us anything else. I did my two attacks. Um, can I get away? Or... Uh, yeah, I can talk to Unfortunately, you did use your main action to attack and your second hand swing as your bonus action. That's right. I'll just stay right here. Okay. That, that's fine. Uh, God, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Jeez, um, feel bad about leaving Slash totally in the lurch. That's what she... she was doing, making sure you don't get pinned down. She's effectively doing okay. her job. Do what you need to. All right. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 easily get it to range. Orchata. And, um, hmm. 
It's probably not wise, but I think it's what Gothos would do anyway. He's going to try Wrathful Smite, because it's got to work one day, right? Uh, ba -ba -ba, you deal an extra 1d6 psychic damage. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. And uh, I attack. It doesn't hit. does not hit. So Wrathful Smite doesn't have flank. We don't have flanking in this game. <gasps> hey. 27 does right. hit. And I will juice that up to a third level smite as well. Okay. Uh, so, so that is 12 So that's the plus... regular 1d6. Dang. Plus uh regular divine smite and then one two levels of juice okay uh smashing to this creature after missing the first time and then going in for a second strike uh i've already told you it's plus 11 so just plus 11 to this that's a 12 yes it uh, had to work sometime and nothing happens beyond you doing more damage Oh, it's immune to fear. I hate this. <laughs> Damn. No, the one time it worked. This is a creature of such integrity. One. Do you do you think? Think? No. No. Fine. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Brack ruined the uh, other one. I, I at least have to be a part of people on one of them. Sorry. Uh, from. From glorious high to catastrophic low. <laughs> I am laid low, Azogma. I have spent my actions. Okay. Uh, do you have a bonus action? You or your mouth? It was Wrathful Smite. It was Wrathful Smite. I don't know. Can Tantanazer... No. No, Shay, I guess you can. Why not? Like, she's going to get 22, though. But... You never know. Have at thee. From Hell's Heart. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what you get for not believing in Tannhauser. And it was huge damage, too. What? Uh, too bad it's not a... Well, actually, is it a magical attack? Because you summoned it from the ether. <sighs> it's not a physical creature. Straight up magical. Yeah, I'm going to say it's magical. Uh, <laughs> plus the total amount of damage. Cool. Uh, Give me something, man. Is and wait, um... Immunity is poison. It has immunity to poison, does it? Of yeah. course. Yeah, uh, but uh, it takes the whole nine points of damage at the very least. Even magical ether poison? No, that was poison. that just being hammy. <laughs> poison is <laughs> poison, man. Um, I forget if I get to make a bonus action sticky leg or if that's a full action. Uh, spider. I wish, sure wish I'd written it down. Anyway, too late now, I guess. I don't remember. Five. Uh, east. At the end of your turn, uh, legendary action. Instead of looking at you, and it can't do the exact same th thing continuously. Not that you know that. Uh, it will use its tail attack against probably the big thing that hit it hard. Uh, it has advantage on the attack because you're not looking at it, and because, you know, reckless attack. So that is 1d20 plus 17. But because it's already been injured, it only has plus 15. Oh, uh, That stuff probably got a hit. But advantage. Forget who rolls. Thankfully, yeah, enough, I had hits. advantage. But it almost missed, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> twice. It almost missed twice. Uh, uh, I, actually, I, I still have some bullshit. Um, uh, you could. Some garbage. So you already have that potion of invulnerability. Yeah, I, I, I am not going to use it. Okay. Uh, you do take 4d10 plus 9 bludgeoning damage. Reduced down to I half think. unless... You're raging, then it's reduced down to a quarter because of the potion. So 30, okay, 15, I'll take their 7 damage. 7. Uh, plus 4d10 necrotic damage. 
Ah. So seven, that would have become sixty. Uh, Eight. thirty down to fifteen. Round it down. Yeah. Now I'm gonna be mean. Sixteen. Round it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so now. It's the final boss fight. That's his advantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I I, re I will remember it for the next attack. It's fine. I have a cunning plan. Okay. Uh. Okay. This attack doesn't do, do I... an... that... There's no gun saves or anything. I'm Not for this up. one. Okay. Stop meta gaming. Mm -hmm. uh, that is Kobo's turn. I already wasted a spell slot on metagaming when I tried to Wrathless Smite him. D&D! Alrighty. Um, let's see, uh, well, we've got this guy here. He's going to close the distance and take a couple of hard swings. Let me pull him up real quick. Um, oh, here we are, Earth Elemental. Plus eight to hit, okay. I'm just joking, Thomas. Uh, yeah, okay, you attack. <laughs> Yeah, um, the uh, Earth Elemental multi-attack. He takes two slam attacks, one with each fit. They are plus eight. So nice. You guys uh, fought these things beforehand, so you know that armor class is sixteen. Uh, plus but eight. That, that, that first is eleven. Yeah, that first. Yeah, that first swing was an eleven. My second swing is a twenty-eight to hit. All right. Um, and it is. Right, 2d8 plus 5, so we're going to... Uh, 13 points of damage, punching. Okay, you punch into this thing severely. It's not dead, but it's bloodied. You can tell that a lot of these creatures have been in fights, so they're not at full health. Okay. Um, part 2... My strange and bizarre plan that's only half coming together. The pixie's going to be flying up out of range so it can't get hit by this guy. And he's going to. Twang! How do I not have a Jurassic mess? Park theme? <laughs> token. Yeah, I thought you had a T Rex token. I thought we've used it before. I swear we did. Am I just not spelling it right? If you Tyrannosaurus. T slash Rex. Dino. Oh, yeah, Tyrannosaurus. Uh, yeah. It's a large creature, correct? Or is it huge? Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Huge beast. Okay, so that is three by three. Uh, right. Would it crush the pillar? I'm. I think that pillar is pretty strong. Look how big it is compared to, you know, he's just standing on top of it. I don't think he's going to crush it because it's wider. Maybe if it's fighting something, it could potentially break it. But right now, it's just sitting on it. Um, I'm actually, um, this is up to you, DM. But I'm actually going to say, since it's Echo, maybe Boom will make it attack? <laughs> I don't know. It goes on Boom's attack? turn. Uh, Boom, do you have right. the stats for T-Rex? Do not, and I'm realizing there are probably a couple of problems with this plan, not counting the uh, structural integrity of the roof. Um, well, uh, you can use one... these casters with your plans. <laughs> Just get in there. Well, one of them is that... Uh, I only have a standard familiar. I can't actually have him take the attack action. Uh, um, this changes him. This changes it. He counts as a actual attacking creature now because he's polymorphed. So he doesn't go by familiar. Familiar. It's a dumb loophole, but it does work. Uh, the other problem so yes, is a new form attack. can be any beast whose challenge rating is equal to or less than the targets. Which means it has to be another CR zero creature. Oh, is that? Wait, right? It doesn't go off of the doesn't go off of Boom's level. I thought it went off of the caster's level. Uh, pull up. That's what I thought. Polymorph, please. Sure, sure. Make sure. Yeah. 
It's a little above the halfway point there. Yep. The new form can be any beast whose challenge rating is equal to or less than the targets. Targets, yeah, that checks out. That's why it works on players, because players are usually pretty powerful, right? That makes sense. Yeah, because that would work on any player who's at least level 8. And by the time I had the opportunity to cast that on myself for the first time, I we I think we'd recently leveled to level 8. Because, yeah, I think we leveled up to 8 when we got out of the uh, cave after we had that one big drow fight. So it was just in time for that arena fight at that town we got to. Uh, let's see here. Are there any dinos within CR quarter? Uh, <laughs> there's a Scapogothus, uh, Pretoridostro, Ramfriticus. I don't know. I'm just wondering. Like one of these, it's like a chicken velociraptor. And the pixie's like, job done. Can I retroactively change this a little bit then? Uh, what are you trying to do? Maybe, well... Would I have any clue, or would the pixie have told me that I can't turn a bat into a... You have the spell polymorph, so you would be aware of how it would work. All right, well, foregoing that slight faux pas, um, I'm going to tell the uh, pixie to turn Boom into a, into a T-Rex instead as soon as he comes out of that bunker. Okay, we go back in time and say you did all that, and then we go into a little a fraction of a second and go, now, that's what we think if they can read our minds. Next, we, instead, when Boom gets out of the bunker, as obviously the, he would do because it's Boom, he, turn him into a T-Rex. Yeah, because yeah, we, we, we realized in the future that I would have known something in the past. Shuri. It's all good. Uh, anything else on your turn, Gobo? I don't oh, think you okay, did so anything. I I personally haven't done anything yet. Let's see here. Was oh, the sprite holding an action then for that? I think so. Yeah, he's been holding an action since I summoned him. <laughs> so it'll be able to. It'll happen when Boom is outside in 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 visual range. I think, oh. Yeah, technically oh, in yeah, visual range. Definitely. 60 feet range, so okay, that'll work. Um, okay, I have my elemental out. I have my pixie doing his thing. I don't have anybody else to change into anything. I am. Um... How big is he? Am I to believe that there is 20 feet of space between Toulouse and uh, Gothos? Probably. That'll work. Um, And I will mention the same problem as before. Once you go out of stealth, you have to roll to go into stealth. I'm not going to be that nice again. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I really don't think I'm going to be stealthy. You know? Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. That, oh, where? Yeah. All right. I am within 120 feet of this big guy now. Yes. I would like to cast a spell that has its 20-foot cube inside him but not hitting not hitting Gothos to lose or Brunt. I assume you can shape it. Okay. Uh what is this spell? Because you haven't said that. Oh, wait. Dead. Uh, wait, wait, wait. He needs to do his um spend a 
sorcery. Oh, it didn't show it. Hold on, I'll, I'll put it up. Sorry. I, I need to spend a sorcery point, too. Why didn't that go up like that? Come on. Host. And I am spending a sorcery point to heighten spell. No, I'm spending three sorcery points to heighten the spell. Um, this gives the target disadvantage on the first saving throw made against the spell. Yeah, so it just flattens out their roll. Yep, uh, it's a DC of, yeah, it's going to be DC of 18. Yeah, and what is the save? Intelligence saving throw. Okay, got it. That is an eight. <laughs> Did not succeed. <laughs> All right. So yeah, he's gonna get the full eight d six psychic damage. Don't want to get to use the fancy spell. <laughs> yep. So that's twenty seven points of psychic damage. And for the next minute, he's going to have a muddled mind. Uh, Not what does that mean? Muddled. During that time, it rolls a d6 and subtracts the number rolled from all its attack rolls and ability checks, as well as its constitution saving throws to maintain concentration. The target can make an intelligence saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on a success. Cool. Thank you. Uh, anything else, Kobo? Um, that was my spell, and it's a 20-foot cube, so it hits just him. Um, that's my action, his thing, his thing, and his thing, yeah. Let's go. Okay, uh, at initiative 20, oh. it... go ahead. I think you roll the d6, like, once and subtract it all. You don't have to do it every time. It's just, like, the number that you roll. I roll it the... Uh... At initiative 20, the layer action happens. And immediately, uh, darkness spreads throughout the area. As the darkness spell is cast. Ooh. Where is the I area? see that? Actually, I probably can't see that happening. Man, I debated so hard on bringing daylight into this. Stupid, selfish me taking death ward. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we can fix that problem. Maybe. Uh, 15 foot radius, I believe. Yeah, we have a nom nom that will now will know dispel magic, so it should be fine, right? Yes, the caster of yes. healing. Yes. Heal. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Actually, it, I still have to spell magic. <laughs> it has four times. Okay, cool. No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, which one do you spell? It is not my turn. Oh, sorry. For some reason, I thought you had counter spell or something. Even though you just no. said... Spell magic. <laughs> uh, this thing is smart, so it actually is aware that you came out of this area. Uh, it, you came out of it from around here, so it's going to cast one there. It's going to cast one, so you are covered in a sea of fog. Same with Brat. Wait, how many? One, two. Four, five. Only someone else had counter spell. And can it cover you both? Uh, I was gonna say, who's casting this? Casting five of them? No, the, the big one is, is yours. Is layer. I'll get rid of that. And yeah, it's gonna use the fourth one to get. Uh, yeah, it's gonna do this. Uh. Okay, uh, that is the layer action. 
and it's oh, actual turn. Action, it's got some sort of a double or something. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, cool. Just making sure when it ends. Immediately goes for an attack. And they so does it have a disadvantage or does it have true sight? You don't know. Stop managing. You're not actually not managing. You honestly don't know. Uh, boom, you were saying? Okay. What squares represent again? The green ones? The green ones is darkness. Oh. Uh, at any rate, it's going to attack. It has a negative two, so its current modifier is 13. And it's just gonna. Boy. Yeah, it's just gonna hit Brax and it hit it a couple of times. So, a disadvantage because I'm hidden, right? No. <laughs> because I'm in darkness. The wood no. made of true sight. I'm uh, pretty sure demons can see in their own shit. No, no, that's devils that can see through oh, their own oh. shit. Okay, Usually, in that yeah. Case, maybe, I don't know. And this is a fiend, <laughs> idiots. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thankfully enough, you know me, so I roll low. So, the first attack yeah. is not the greatest. Uh, you have advantage. Yeah, but the first attack is not the greatest. And yes, I roll a three. Hey, hey, hey. I'd love to see it. Okay. So that doesn't work out. Uh, second attack, <laughs> we'll try to hit again. Uh, 31 yeah, and 16 <laughs> advantage. It's 31. Uh, immediately, uh, this thing hits you with a whip as hard as, well, a truck. Uh, uh, I, actually, fun fact, you're not hitting me. You're hitting him. Why? Be, be, because I am going to use my... Uh, I'm going to oh, use one of my runes. I really hate uh, the flip one. Do you right? have to be able? Do you have to be yeah. able to see them? That is a good point. No, I have just to choose a different creature within thirty feet of me. Woohoo! Nice. Warding. I was like, oh shit, he has me there, but the <laughs> no. When you or a creature you can see within 30 feet is hit by an attack. Luckily, he's attacking me and not anybody else. Yeah. I guess you want, yeah, if I, it doesn't I, say see a second time, it checks uh, out. And it checks out. Yep. Yeah. Other than the attacker, though. Yeah. yeah so, so he said the. I'm I'm putting it on on this guy over here. The closest south uh, demon. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the only other thing that I can see in thirty feet. You can't see it though. No, no. It that, that, you you are aware of it to. though, so that does make sense. Uh. Sorry. Yeah, it says. Huh. Okay. I don't know how this actually translates in game, but yeah, this is totally true. I mean, because it's called the Cloud Rune, I can kind of see it being like some sort of obscuring thing, and therefore you might just have to be aware of them. I think it's dumb, but also great. Okay. Because we're uh, using it. Smashing into <laughs> this creature uh, it does sustain a good amount of damage. Uh, and it means to make a save, uh, five plus modifier, uh, five, that is not the best roll. And it looks, e not that you can tell, something happens to it. <laughs> None of you know, minus the pixie, what happened to it. It is occluded in darkness. Uh, that it's its turn. Uh, pa 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 That doesn't make sense. All right. Uh, I'm going to cheese it, too, based off of wording. 
uh, this thing looks immediately towards Gothos. Uh, Gothos, you have to make a wisdom saving throw. Just cannot see it. Yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, uh, I'm just gonna it doesn't read matter. it. You can uh, see me. Demi Gorgon turns his magical gaze towards one creature that he can see within 120 feet of him. That target must yeah. make a DC wisdom saving throw. Okay. Unless incapacitated. Uh, it can right. invert wisdom. its gaze, but Gothos doesn't know that it's looking at him. I wouldn't know to. I wouldn't know to uh, wisdom with my bonus built in. <laughs> yeah, auto succeed. Uh, nothing happens to you, but you feel as if uh, you have a splitting headache for a second there. Uh, that's his turn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nom Nom currently in stealth. It's not going to break that. Uh, but holding an action to cast a healing word on anyone that needs it. Uh, and I'm just going to check to see if he actually does have spell magic or anything like that. Third level spell. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, he does. Uh, I'm just going to quickly change the sending spell to be not prepared today. Yeah. When was the last time? Uh, he is currently mm, one, uh, yeah, 95 feet away from the farthest effect. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. He can get any of them. Yeah, you can get any of them. Uh, honestly, you'd probably choose Brack. You know, big uh, boy in the middle of the fog. Would definitely choose him. Uh, dispels that fog effect around you. So, doesn't actually hold his action. Just straight up uses his magic. Uh, oh, now, he, of now, I see. now the demons are aware of him. Maybe not the best choice, but tactfully it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> the demons he for the middle it on makes the right sense. do make their turn. Let's check if these guys have something that they would need to have. They don't, so it has to be a disadvantage. This guy just comes towards you. This guy comes towards Slash. This one comes towards... Slash, no. Mm, no, go for Nam Nam. And this one just gets closer. Nom Nom, no. Uh, the one Man, actually those used, NPCs are boned. Uh, goes for a couple of attacks, unfortunately. Uh, first a bite attack with a plus seven, so that is sixteen does not hit. Uh, and does then, it have a true save? No, it doesn't. So good point. It's still low, so it doesn't hit. Uh, and then two claw attacks, disadvantage because it can't see, doesn't hit. Claw. And disadvantage because it can't see, so it doesn't hit. <laughs> that it's its turn, and slash and nom nom. Also get attacked. Oh no! Uh, hit yeah, slash. this is where things turn for the worse. Hits. Oh, uh, doesn't hit. Slash doesn't dies. hit. Uh, nom nom. Hits. Oh no! Yes. Hits. And doesn't hit. Is... <laughs> and then we say. Okay, I'm he, gonna give the quick. standard damage for them. So nom nom isn't the healthiest boy, but he's not bloody just yet. Slash As... took one hit. She's fine. Has Nom Nom leveled up? He's been with us on a lot of adventures. Yeah, he has leveled up. He, like okay. I said, he's not dead. <laughs> but that was a crit. Uh, so it did hurt. <laughs> That's the right side of enemies, except for the elemental guy, who is just going to get closer to Kobo, but not close enough that it procs attack of opportunity. And he's just going to swing towards what? elemental. Uh, that is a plus seven. So 20 likely hits the elemental, unless I'm wrong. Um, armor class 17, but since he moved out of my way, do I get the attack of opportunity? No. no. He didn't move far enough. Oh, he wasn't next to Kobo. Yeah. Okay. 
No, because he was over here. Oh, sorry. He just went around. He was over here. Okay, so he's not outside of melee range yet. Okay. He rotated. Yeah. All right, yeah, he just rotated. Okay, uh, 15 plus 7 does hit with the slash, and 18 is the AC. Sorry, 17 is the AC, but he rolled an 18, so that does hit. So your elemental takes... Uh, 15 plus 11 plus 11, that is 37 points of damage. 37. Unless you want one to roll. It is piercing and slashing, so if it's reduced, it's reduced. Do what a roll? Roll what? what? It is piercing and slashing, so if your elemental has resistance to that, it is reduced by half. Oh. Yeah, is it not magical? Uh... Does it I'm say, say it's yes. magical? It doesn't say it's magical, so All right. I'm going to say yes. Alright, that's half damage. Okay. Resistance from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing to non-magical. Yeah, I assumed. So 37 <laughs> turns into... Uh, Brat. You're no longer uh, in the smoke. Uh, rude man. Uh, I, I am I'm just going to hit him. Just normally hard, not really hard, because I think I got lucky last round. <laughs> Could be. Could be. That misses. That does miss, unfortunately. That, that does hit. So that is only 27 points of damage. Only 27, he says. <laughs> hey, you laugh, but that's it. Um... For a martial class, I, I feel your pain. That makes you very angry when you only hit once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brad, anything else? Uh, let me double check. Uh, no, D that's it. Okay. Oh, right. uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Just... <laughs> uh, that is Boom's turn. Boom, on your right side, there is the fog cloud of darkness. You're still good on the north end. All right, well, I'll see here. That'll catch me by surprise. Uh, I am proccing feline agility to start with, so 510. I'm going to go ahead and look, investigate. Looks like I can still maneuver the way I thought I was going to. So I'm going to run over to here. At that boom, point, uh, Boom is Stop visible right to the pixie. And it procs. Boom, a spell is being cast on you. Do you try to resist, not knowing what it is? It has a friendly feel. No, it doesn't. It has the doesn't. feeling of the Fae. I'll allow it, that one. It, it, it's, it's, it's fairy magic. Sorry. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, it does feel like fey magic, which is a different feeling than normal uh, standard magic, uh, similar to celestial magic and infernal magic, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the only fairy you know that's currently in the area is the small pixie that uh, Kobo summoned. And the creatures we're going with, I guess I'm going to assume that they don't have the ability to cast a spell and probably wouldn't have been holding a reaction for me since nobody's actually seen me prior to this point. It'd be weird. I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, okay what does he turn into? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Take a big old bite. Nope. I did say Rex earlier. I can't change it. I already had to change the target on this game. <laughs> you become a tiny, tiny T Rex. About That's this big. There we go. Alrighty. Um, alright, well, just as I was about to reach for my sword and pull it out, uh, this is quite the surprise. So, the first thing I'm gonna do then is. Since I'm obviously not wielding a sword with my tiny, tiny little front limbs, I'm going to go ahead and settle for this instead. Okay, and I'm assuming you took into account the image I sent in Discord? Uh, it's the T-Rex stats. stats. Oh, yeah, I, uh, 
I, I uh, pulled it up in D&D Beyond. I built this so cool. it's using the T Tyrannosaurus stats and not actually taking into account any of my attributes. Yeah, yeah cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, <laughs> bite of 18, Lift. unfortunately, does not hit. Uh, but does the strength save prop if you hit or no matter what? matter for this guy that's only if they're a medium creature smaller that the a successful bite attack would restrain them okay cool. um yeah it's just an attack roll of 18. unfortunately 18 does not hit alas all right um all right uh well that being the case i'm gonna step back just a little bit and i'm gonna swing my tail at this guy down here looks he's straight up peter jackson's king kong do you uh, 22, 22 does hit that guy. <laughs> For some reason, that guy's heavily bloodied and bleeding harshly. Uh, using your tail, it just smacks him hard. Almost instantly kills him. He is at two health. All right. And... Hmm, do I want to do anything else with my movement here? Um... Well, I guess from my vantage, okay, see this, I see Demogorgon, that's pretty far away. Um, does anything look like it's menacing? Ooh, Slash looks like they're in trouble. Um, that's true. And I think I moved five feet to get there, so I think I've still got another 45 feet. I'm going to go ahead and stomp towards Slash. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, you merely rush towards <laughs> her area. <laughs> no, I have All right. <laughs> okay. That'll be my turn. Pretend I did a roar in the direction of the creature I'm charging towards directly. <laughs> a giant, uh, likely copyrighted sound is heard. <laughs> uh, right enemy side. I'm surprised this demon survived this long. Uh, putting boom where boom is. Yeah. Because he's still representing your turn order. Tricky. Uh, Brack is now visible, but thankfully enough, isn't immediately attacked with advantage. Uh, this guy is just going to get close enough to get here. This guy sees Kobo, so there's like no way it's not going to head towards your direction. But spends his entire turn just getting to you. Uh, so Brack's the only one attacked this round. So that is a plus seven to bite. Uh, that's not going to hit. And two claw attacks. Plus seven both. Uh, miss. And out of 20. I would like you to re-roll that 20. Uh, another rune? On what basis, sir? On... On the on the basis of my runic shield. Ah. Uh, where, where is my also, runic? Eighteen plus seven still hits, but not a natural Ooh. twenty. Yeah, it's not a crit. That's the important. Where, it's where not hundred percent worth it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's not heavily <laughs> worth it with these guys, but it makes sense. Uh, you do sustain uh two d six plus four points of damage. How much? Uh, I would have a quarter to ten. However your math ten. Is. Okay, so uh, I take two. Quarter. Yeah. Uh, but, so yeah five. So five becomes two. I'm going to be mean. Take three. Oh, just as a call out on my uh, hit points right now is just to track the T-Rex stuff. I've added 136 hit points to my current hit points. So basically, once my hit points drop down to what my normal max would be, that would be the T-Rex dying. It's and no. this makes it a little easier to calculate any uh, blow through, I think. Makes sense. Thank you. Uh, Slash's turn. Well, thought, for Polymorph, does the blow through count? I thought it didn't. Sure it did, but let me double check. I think so, but I could be wrong. Slash is... You're right. It carries over. It carries over. Uh... Right. Yeah, <laughs> she's not going to have... Uh, potentially Nom Nom being devoured, so she's going to try to divert this guy's attention using her swing. Uh, miss. Hit. Uh, 2d6 plus 
Oh, wait, she missed an imprisonment attack, so it doesn't get sneak attack. Uh, <laughs> that is just 10 plus 5. Uh, 15 is still pretty good, but it doesn't kill it. Uh, but it is now considered bloodied. Uses her bonus action to... I'm going to see if she can stealth behind the T-Rex. Uh, yeah, stealth is behind the T-Rex. Uh, that is her turn. Uh, tell you can us. handle it, big guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm in darkness. I want to yeah. try to get out of it. Um, so I'll... I don't know how far it is, but can I just move in one direction, like... Yeah, for sure. I don't know what direction I'm moving. <laughs> like, okay, but I, I was just attacking was the monster. Can I move to the... Huh? I thought I'd roll a coin or flip something. That's what I was going to do on my turn. Uh, tackle to lose, you, you know the creatures in front of you, but as soon as something happened, uh, darkness surrounded you. Now, the creature is still in front of you. You know that for sure, but you're not sure exactly how far you have to reach out. Uh, but you can definitely like maneuver around it to make sure, because soundly, you are aware you're right next to it, and if you move away, well, it could potentially hit you. You can likely go north, to see if it's still nearby, but also, you know, be close enough so you can attack it and it doesn't get to attack, or you can move south and see if it's still nearby. It's not as if you lose the dimensions. I was going to say opportunity attacks are only against stuff that it can see, but yeah, I guess I realized, yeah, I can see it. <laughs> because I, I just want to move. It's, I, I wanted to move like right or left, but I don't know which way to lose it. <laughs> Um, mm, you know most left. of your team is I always south. Go left. Yeah, so south. That's down. Yeah, so I'll move. I'll move down. Uh, ten feet. I said so. I'll just ten feet. Is that out of all, out of it? Like it partly, is at least? partially out, but at that distance, it does get an opportunity to attack. Okay. So it is push. going to it swing. Is still five feet right. Oh, is it? Yeah. It uh, has reach on it to pass, right? Yeah, <laughs> technically. It's like barely in this square. Yeah, Toulouse, you're fine. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, can I see it from here? Uh, you can. And can I still make my? You can still make your attack. Uh, okay. It's just a very awkward positioning. I'm going to put him into which actual size. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, cool. Cool. So I could still swing with sneak attack. Uh, because Brack yeah. is there, yes. Okay, if I hit. Please hit. And Gothos, uh, technically. And Gothos, too. <laughs> just back okay. to when I saw. I'm... Unfortunately, oh, 18 good. does not hit. And he was actively aware of where you were, so you don't get advantage on your attack. Mm. Mm. Uh, you can still make no, your bonus attack. No, I'm in. wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Your hand. What? Yeah, just my hand. Him. Distracts him. Because I pulled that out at the very beginning. That is true. Go ahead and roll again. <laughs> That sounded yeah. very much like, <laughs> like I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm just... Uh, what am I wrong? Gwen, please. Ooh, so, oh, so close. close. Why, Gwen? <laughs> She's going through her uh, early twenties crisis yeah. phase of should I continue college or should I just look for a job right now and see maybe college later. Uh, distracted.
this um for spells so it was it's for all saves and then specifically attack ability checks and the con saves not all saves just the con save okay, for so concentration got... just yeah so it it's still not you know plus 15 it's plus five and you know what happens with me and saves uh, ba, 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 ba. 18. It just barely passed. Okay. It but did. that is uh, relevant right now. Uh, actually, it is pretty relevant. Wait a second. Did it pass? 18. Um, it has the only plus save. Five minus two. Oh. It's ability no, checks. Right. The only save ability that checks. it goes for is cons. Okay. That's why I asked before I rolled. <laughs> You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all good. Uh, yep. Legendary action. Uh, looks towards Toulouse. Uh, Toulouse, you can tell that this thing is looking at you. However, you are out of the shadow, so I'm not going to do you dirty like I did call this dirty because he's still in the shadow. <laughs> sorry. Uh, you can tell that it's looking at you. Maybe. You saw beforehand that when it looked at another demon, it basically froze in place. Do you continue to look at it, potentially risking some type of weird effect, or do you look away? If you look away, What's you can't look at it until your next turn. Yeah, I'll look away. It does get advantage against you. It's okay. Okay. You look away. Nothing happens. You auto-succeed. Uh, that's it. It's a legendary action. Gothos! If Gothos is aware that the rest of his team is in one direction, you aren't aware of that unless you have true sight, devil sight, or we're just very lucky. Was that the way it was before things went black for me? You saw Toulouse was to the far end of where you are, and Brat was to the south. And then you heard a giant T Rex to the south. Hmm. So, you well, that know, does sound like us. It is possible that everyone is to the south of you. Whatever, I'll just flip a coin. I mean, not proverbially, but... Like, you know the current I'm map prefer. other than where Toulouse currently is, and so, for some reason a T-Rex is around. You don't have to flip a coin if you don't want to. I was just going to move up good, away from everyone. I don't think you see the result in there. I'm just going to move there. Um, if the guy can... S- uh, can't see at me, At a range so... of him, but not at a range of this guy. And once you move out of the shadow, he can't and at least see you because he's in and out. Uh, but I'm going to still give him disadvantage because, you know, in and out. Okay. Uh, natural 20 and 7, 14 does not hit. All right, all right, all right. And we apply violence. Uh, 28 does hit. And we're going to use another third level smite. Base level one, two, and all radiant damage. Uh, did we say that I can try to use my bonus action to shove things in between my attack actions? Uh, I think we did a while ago, so let's keep it constant. Yeah, I'm gonna try and shove a fiendish lord of the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that is athletics or acrobatics, correct? Um, strength versus dex. I know I have it written here. Sorry, I don't get to use it very often. Uh, da, da, da. So that's the regular one, but because I'm a shield master, I get to use it as bonus action. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, contested by. Uh... All right, let's contest strength. Wait. I yeah. think you get to choose, but you have to do strength. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have a dude dex. And it's ability, not saving, right? It is an ability. Uh. Yeah, it's just, you know, lots of things get a bunch of bonuses to their saving throws, but not to their ability checks. Yeah, so it just gets its standard. Uh, ba 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 ba. Just need to beat 16. And yeah. let's go. Nope. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, five I have... feet from you. No, I choose to knock it prone. 
Uh, condition immunities. Come on. Yeah, it's proud. Uh, uh, hey. So I get to make my second attack with advantage. Like you just hit the knee in a right way that it causes it to like go to sleep for a second, causing it to take a knee, uh, giving you a swing straight towards probably the neck. Oh yeah, I learned this from Bruner Brattlehammer. He knocked over a statue called the Ankle Breaker. <laughs> no, two fifteens. It doesn't hit. Well, um. Yeah. He got a drop to the knee. Hold he on. Managed to avoid your attack. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, uh, my channel divinity. I know that I we're metagaming now because I've seen it, but you didn't technically say it missed. Might I use <laughs> it to add ten to my roll? No. Okay. You know it missed. I know, but how am I ever supposed to use that ability? I already know now that it's immune to fear. That's the only other thing it can do. That is true. I'll allow it this time. But also, we already knew that it was AC-22. So. Yeah, I had an advantage on it. I mean... It was knowledge. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say it's not really metagaming. It's actively aware that you miss, so... Well, not actively aware that you miss, but you're actively aware that it's not going to reach far enough. So you use your ability, which you have, and you're allowed to use it, uh, and smash in with an additional plus 10. And then I use a second level smite. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you would. Divine smite, smite juice one, and I'm also going to use my fury the small on this one, which is an additional... 13 damage because it equals my level okay this thing is definitely bloodied uh surprise surprise brag hit hard and so did the rest of you uh we hit we hit hard yes yes and with an additional fury of the small it is heavily hurt but maybe that's not the best idea against this thing making yourself a target uh either way is there anything else you do about this uh, no, that was, uh, that was everything for me. So I knocked it prone. So that's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, uh, so it will stand up in its honest turn. At the end of your turn, it takes its second legendary action. And I can't spam the look, so I'm going to have to attack you with a tail. Uh, a tail. That's Minky Gothos. He just attacked. It makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. fair. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just, just enjoyed the crack bag. Uh, 34. Yeah, 34 it would hit. I think so. Uh, you... Yeah, I'm gonna roll it. I, I rolled it for Brack. Let's keep it consistent. Uh, you take 4d10 plus uh, 9 points of bludgeoning damage, so you do get to have that, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is 34 half. And then you take an additional 4d10 necrotic damage, which I don't think you can have that. No. Uh, so you take the full 19. I like Just how he's hitting with his legendary, but not his standard attack. Yes, Gothas. I know, it's madness. Just because I'm trying to be fair and everything. Why Aww. am I taking half uh, regular damage? Uh, oh, it's magical that you have, uh, elemental that you have that. I have my elemental bad. and force damage. That is my bad. That is my bad. You take the full damage. I'm sorry, Gothos. Let's never say I wasn't fair. Let's say you're not fair. <laughs> and lie. You are not unfair. At okay. This moment uh, that was a secondary legendary no. action. Kobo. I'm taking all this damage that I'm seeing. Yes. 34 plus 19. Okay, seeing all of this and not being as effective as I wanted to be, very angrily, 
your attack. I uh -huh. spend three sorcery points. And cast a spell that would be a DC 18. Uh, where is it here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Charisma save. Crap. A DC 18 charisma save at disadvantage. Uh, I'm assuming you're up casting it with your spells. Not spells, uh, sorcery points. Um, yeah, um, I, I I extended range cast it because it has a range of sixty feet, but I can change that to one hundred and twenty by spending one sorcery point to extend spell, so it's longer, so the range is longer, and then I'm using uh, three more points for enhanced spell to make him roll at disadvantage. So it just flattens out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's charisma, right? Banishment. Okay. Banishment. Uh, I don't like you. Go away. It's it's Laviosa, not Laviosa. <laughs> Shush. Uh, succeeds. Damn it. The magic is cast All straight right. towards him, and it just wafts away. is not actually in range of me yet magic wise yes uh melee wise no oh wait are you talking about the guy next to you not yet yeah next to me he, he can't attack me yet okay in that case i will Guy. Oh, the um, guy at the start of your turn, you are close enough for his effect, which has not progged until just now because no one's. Oh, I have to have Gothos do this as well. Uh, Gothos and okay, Kobo, both go. of you go ahead and roll con saves. I did not realize you were back. Uh, I literally just got back. Con saves, you say? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because I forgot that they had a stench effect. Oh, dang. Oh. Uh, uh, I still have advantage on for some reason, but 25. Gothos, you're fine. You oh. hold your breath. DC 14. Gothos, you're Kobo, you're also fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, potentially, it's not that stanky. Uh, you are immune to this effect for the next 24 hours. Insert joke about you having 14 constitution while going to an anime convention. <laughs> uh, but anyway, sorry about that. Kobo, you were saying. Okay. Um, fairy buddy here is going to do the other half of his task, casting fly on the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You now have a fly speed equal to your walking speed and you can hover, so I hope that helps you maneuver. And then he's going to be going away, flying as far and as fast as he can to stay out of the fight, because that's all he had to do. Wouldn't he literally just, like, leave after he did his task? I don't know if he actually has to stick around until the concentration's over. Hmm. If you're holding concentration, I, I guess he could and just like wait it out. Yeah, I guess yes. Um, Quick question about concentration spells in general. I hate to go off tangent, but can you cast a concentration spell and then go outside the casting range and it yes. still works? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. That's the neat thing about heat metal. Once you cast it, you can get as far away mm -hmm. as you can. And mm -hmm. it still works. No time for tangents. Let's go to this boss. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, Rocky is going to be making two swing attacks because you said he's not out of range yet. No. Okay, so this will be uh, plus eight. Oh. Does not hit with a Rocky. 10. <laughs> Does not hit bad with Rocky. a 13. <laughs> Shame on you, Rocky. Any I'm movement? Swinging away at this guy. Um, well, if he's in range, he's not going to keep moving. He'll he'll move when you know he has to keep fighting. He's trying to keep these guys distracted. So, okay. Um, uh, 
Yeah, that's that's everything for me. At the start of the round, sorry, uh, at an initiative of 20, a layer action happens. Uh, once again, this thing just roars, maybe in pain or maybe out of frustration, but you see a weird after image once more. Uh... And that is the lair action. On its turn, it's just going to swing and swing. Uh, as soon as it reaches its turn, the clouds around it dissipate and disappear. So, Toulouse, you can see again. Even better than before. Uh, it can attack technically any of you. But it'd probably go for the biggest thing first. Yeah, it's gonna go for the biggest thing first. It does, right? Yeah, that is uh, true. Got the biggest is threat. Big. Uh, I, I'm large in speed, spirit. Uh, gets I up. I gave you the potion for a reason. Oh, I was gonna yeah. nail you on that if you didn't get up. I was waiting for it. You know what? Because of that, I'm gonna attack you, Gothos. Yeah, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> I was nah. waiting. I was like, so technically. <laughs> nah, I'm still going to type black. I'm just giving you sass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 25 does hit. Doesn't have advantage yeah. because you just attack normally. Uh-huh. Uh, it, it doesn't have advantage? No. So can I... Well, no. Never mind. I got it. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Go. Okay. Uh, so that is 4d12 plus 9 bludgeoning ah. damage. Uh-huh. Bludgeoning. Bludgeoning. So yes. it is reduced down to half, so that is a lot. Ooh, half. So that is 10 points of damage. Okay. Uh, why 10? Because oh, right, it's right. half, half, and then half, half again. again. Uh, this is still raging. Half of 40. Yeah, that's why I didn't do anything. 3 this is 21. Is Rounded 21. up is 22. Half of that is 11. Take 11. Okay, I'll take 11. <laughs> One extra. Uh, and go ahead and roll for me a con save. Okay, that should not be too difficult. 30. Oh, yeah, that should have been normal. So you felt sick for a second as if your body was fatigued, uh, but thankfully enough, nothing happened. This first attack, it's going to attack you again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 15 plus 15, that is 30 again. Yeah, 30 hits. Okay. Uh, rolled even worse than beforehand, so that is 27. Rounded down, that is 14. Rounded 13, up. 13, if you want Rounded half support. again, that is 7. seven takes up. 6. 6? Yeah, seven. 27 he... divided by 2 is 13. Oh, he's yeah. He's rounding up because he's the final boss. Yeah. <sighs> that rounding man, the dot damage is really getting in. That plus mm. one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> roll another con save. I'm pretty sure you're going to so succeed with your bonus. That is seven rights. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, constitution saving throw. Uh, Thirteen. No, you don't save, unfortunately. Oh, damn. Your... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Could uh, I, potentially I'm sure save. I'm forgetting something again. Um, uh, Waiting. I need to check my runes. Um... Nope, no con saves. Uh, your total max HP is reduced down by seven. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to have it roll a wisdom check. God. Imagine if you hadn't Plus been 11. double immune. Okay, to understand what's currently going on with you, so it may not bother with you anymore. And it's going to look at Gothos this time. Uh, Gothos is looking at you. It feels weird when it looks at you. Do you avert your gaze, potentially risking damage uh, as you look away? Or do, do you, I like, remember? steal fast look at it? Do I remember what kind of saving throw it was? No, you just know that if it looks at you, it could potentially do something. No one, uh, can, hmm. no one like tried to dare look back. Everyone looked away. 
we, we gotta respect the big the big bungus. That is fair. I don't know. I think Gothos is arrogant enough to try and kill a god, so he's probably gonna have to meet the stare. Okay. Remind yourself. Uh, the roll. So, I know. I know. I've done it once before, but you I didn't know I before. did it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw. I was scrolled up. What is it? Twenty two. Yeah, Twenty two is good. Twenty two is pretty good. It's not enough though. Fuck. <laughs> uh, and thankfully enough, the demi gorgon gives me a choice, or I can do random. So I'm gonna choose. <laughs> Uh, immediately Fuck. you feel a strange sensation over your body causing you to be stunned until the start of the demigorgon's next turn Ooh. or until it is no longer within your visual range Boo. okay so i'll <laughs> just have to kill it to unstun gothos well it's not that difficult yeah or you know get it out of uh gothos's range a vision uh no nom doesn't want to die Did someone, like, body block him does that count? No. Uh, if someone body blocks you and makes you go prone, yeah, that'll count. Can Tanhauser do it? No. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nom Nom is currently stealth, but not so much that this guy isn't actively aware where he could be. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm just going to book it. Uh, I'm going to say because he is in stealth right now, the creature isn't going to be able to take a opportunity attack, but is now aware that Nom Nom exists. Uh, takes their turn to get up to Slash and Dinosaur uh, to potentially heal someone. Uh, yeah, that's its turn. Demi Gorgon, uh, sorry, not Demi Gorgon, uh, right side of the field. Uh, let's see if the right side understands what is going on with Bracht because they may not know. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wisdom of plus one. <laughs> That's a seven. They have no idea. <laughs> so they're just going to try to swing at you. Okay. This one gets towards Gothos. The one next to you attacks you. Uh. Dinosaur. <clears throat> Done. Nom nom. Nom nom. Uh. And that is the right side minus the one next to the elemental. Yeah, it's just gonna break away from the elemental, giving uh, the elemental an attack of opportunity. Roll it up, Kobo. Hit this time. Come on, Rocky. Eye of the tiger is the trail of the fight. Seven plus uh, eight, plus that is uh, eight. 15. <sighs> it does not hit, just barely, though. Uh, Rocky aims for a swing and just barely clips the very edge of the skin, causing no damage, but knowing that it is so close. Yeah, it's so far away. Okay, uh, that Man. is... What was that? Oh, no, I'm just looking. He has um, a movement. I don't see if he can make it move further. It's not your turn. It's the enemy. He just got an opportunity attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just... I'm, I'm noticing I'm so far away. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I can close distance. I'm not going to do it right now. I know it was... Oh, okay, attack. sorry. Uh, it has to spend its entire turn to get to you, Kobo, but it is there now. Uh, plus seven, two of their attacks. One against, uh, three attacks against, uh, Gothos. Uh, with a plus seven, I... Advantage think... against Gothos, because he's stunned. I honestly forgot. Uh, 22 and... Yeah. Plus natural 20. Um, can I bring my reaction? I'd like to bring my reaction. Uh, what is your reaction? 
Silvery Barnes has to roll again. Hmm. I'm changing that 20. <clears throat> I like it. Yeah. Uh, you don't get to choose the 15, but you do get to choose. I have to roll again and decide which one you choose. Hmm. Uh, 19 plus 7, that it's still hits. It's not a natural it's, 20. It's, Thank you, Kobo. It's not a, cr it's, it's it's not not a crit, crit, and that's all you probably need. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to give advantage to Toulouse on her next attack. Nice. Nice. Uh, so, Gothos, you do sustain uh, 2d10 plus 4 points of damage. Fight attack, piercing. Yeah, just piercing. Sure, uh, sure Total sure. 20. Wow. It's a good thing I didn't crit. Yeah. Uh, next one well. is a claw attack advantage because of stunned. Uh, 8 plus 7 doesn't hit, and 18 plus 7 does hit. No. Uh, that is 2d6 plus 4. Uh, 13. And then gonna hit one last claw attack. 19 plus 7 does hit, and hits 11 points of uh, slashing damage. The one next to Brat will hit. Attempt to. Things have become. Uh, doesn't hit. More dire Doesn't have an advantage. Cool. Claw attack against Brat. Uh, plus seven. That does hit Brat. Yep. Uh, so half and then quartered. That is. Uh, seven rounded up. Three. Eighteen and then sorry, not <laughs> take four. <laughs> This is never gonna get old. Okay. <laughs> it, it already you, has, you and, but I'm getting you, that marginal <laughs> correction. You, you, you and, and, the, and your dot damage. And then claw attack, natural 20. I sadly don't have a reroll this round because I don't have a reaction if I remember correctly. I think I'm out so. Of reactions. I think you yeah. ended up last time, so that is going to be uh, double this damage. Mm -hmm. 9, 18, half quartered. Uh, that is nine, four. and then that is four rounded up five. <laughs> the natural <laughs> twenty is <laughs> fucking, and mine is bullshit. He has yeah. a potion that ruins a lot of this. Oh, actually, also, I, I could have used actually, a fucking I bought potion. two. He still has one. Yeah. Anyways, I was over here like, I bet you wish you had one of these, tank boy. Uh, n boom is going to be attacked with bite attacks, unfortunately. Uh, plus seven does not hit. Uh, plus mm -hmm. seven. Uh, Probably it. The T Rex. What is the T Rex's ace? Oh, fuck me. It's 13, but I currently have a 17. Um, but uh, 12 plus mm -hmm. seven is 19, so that would still hit. Okay, cool. Uh, so one of the bite attacks do you hit. That is uh, 2d10 plus 4. Uh, 13 points of piercing damage. Uh, then they're going to do four in total uh, claw attacks. Miss. Scratch, 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 scratch. Hits. <laughs> miss. Miss. Uh, so just one. Uh, 13 points of slashing damage. And against uh, Nom Nom, hits, hits, miss. Yeah, miss. Rip oh. Nom. Nom. <laughs> uh, the, uh, rolling, uh, I got to roll two uh, concentration checks here. Uh, that one's fine, even without a bonus. Uh, oh, shoot. The second one totally fails. So, um... My uh, wall of stone goes away. What I'm going to do, though, is there's a possibility I might try to bring it back at some point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a red X in it to indicate that the wall it's of stone gone. doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nom nom is now considered bloody. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, that is the right side turn. Oh, yikes, for, yikes for nom nom, he says. Yikes for nom nom. Hey, I'm currently controlling him. Gothos, this is your choice. Yeah. I uh, chose how, to get critted. <laughs> no. Uh, how bad is the big lock looking? 
Uh, very hurt, but not dead. He is bloodied now, so there's hope. Okay. Um, and the guy behind me has two hit points, right? Out of game, yes. In game, he looks very injured. Well, well, the guy, the guy behind me is. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna hit the guy behind me. Nineteen probably hits. Yeah. He takes uh, twenty-one. Yeah, he's I dead. Think he, he, he did. Okay, and then I am gonna attack the guy in front of me. Mhm. Mm that is a thirty. That. Are you recklessly attacking? Oh. Yes. Just making sure. Yeah, thirty does hit. Twenty-two also oh. hits. Uh, uh so, so slash R eight. Oh, why the end is <laughs> dash R. And you've been taking into account any sort of okay. radiant damage that we've been doing this whole time, right? I have. Yeah. It okay. also doesn't state that he is highly affected by that, though. Versus. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, so that is 19 points of radiant damage. And then I will attack him with my bonus action. For with a 24. 24 does it. Uh, for 18. Okay. Uh, anything else? Action, bonus action. No, that's it. Okay. Um, not to be a stickler, you are yes. raging. Yes. Do you gain any attack improvement by raging? Uh, oh, yeah. Don't you get your, your hit and damage? Barbarian? Yeah. Yeah. Plus two. It's a plus two. Is it already in that, there? That, that, that's it's why I have an angry greatsword and a normal greatsword. Oh, okay. So you uh, added it uh, into the angry one. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Sad, sadly, I wasted a crit. Damn it. Um, just out of curiosity, your plus two is only a plus one in your angry greatsword. No, no. What? No, my, my plus two? On yeah, your uh, regular great sword thirty attack, roll, your angry great sword should be a plus twelve. No, uh, the uh, the anger is no. on the hit roll. For some reason, my normal great sword does not have a magical bonus. Ah. <clears throat> Moving on. For some awesome. reason, it, it is completely parked. End of your turn. Fiend tonight. Uh, Tail attack against Toulouse. Uh, Toulouse did look away, so it has advantage on this attack. Uh, 8 plus 15, that is enough to hit you, but let's see if it rolls a crit. It doesn't, but it still hits. And just to speed things think... along, uh, Toulouse, you do take 53 Wait, My armor points. class is... it hits me with a 15? Plus 15. Plus 15, so it's a 23. Uh, oh, I see. I got you. No worries. It's all good. Uh, no, I, I, it's the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. I just like to no, the problem. not add it sometimes because the roll thing I have is damage uh, set up currently. Oh, okay. good. Anyways, uh, that is 4d10 plus 9 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and so that is 27 plus uh, 4d10 uh, necrotic damage. But you do have a thing that can Jenny half God. it. Yes. Okay. Uh, so instead of taking the full 47 points of damage, you take half. Uh, so that Found is... Yes, I was about to do that. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> just targeting you. So you take a full uh, 24. 24 points of damage. Is it 24? 24. Tw 24. It should be 23, but today it's 24. Enemies round up. Everybody gets to take half damage, but Gothos, that's fine. <laughs> you you yeah. don't have to do calculus. Be happy. Uh, that is just a legendary evening. action. Uh, boom. Slash doing? Is Slash doing okay compared to Nom Nom? <laughs> Slash is doing way better than Nom Nom. All right, in that case, I'm going to focus on the two enemies just to the south of me. I'm going to go ahead and bite the closest one. Oh, God, why? And, uh, what was that? 
No, nothing. I'm not dying. All right, uh, 29 to hit for 24 points of damage. 29 That's does ouch. hit. Um, is it medium or smaller creatures? Yeah, it, that thing's not going to get grappled. No, unfortunately, it's a huge. Or restrained, uh, I mean. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's large. Okay, large. it still takes a full point of damage, and it is bloodied already. Uh, it's very hurt. Anything else? Oh, yeah, I can't I can't strike the same target with a tail attack, so I'm going to hit the other one that's just due south of uh, Nom Nom and thwack it for... It looks like that's another 24 to hit, so that should be good. 18 yeah. points of bludgeoning damage. The and other you one. do some sort of a sick, like, tail whack and then you toss the guy in your mouth onto the other guy? That would be true if it was was strained. Uh, let's just say oh. thematically it happens. Causing the know, it was a very high-level wizard turned into a simple dinosaur. <laughs> uh, I feel like this is more like I got a free meal out of the first one I attacked while I'm beating the other one with my tail. Like, just rip a chunk of flesh out of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just getting your bond of flesh. Uh, I do believe that is yeah. T-Rex turn. Yep, uh, I'm done. Okay, unless you decided to move. Uh, left side of the board. T-Rex spelled like it's a monster truck. <laughs> da, da, da. Control Z that. Okay, so it still can't get to Gotha, uh, Kobo on this turn. Sorry, Gothos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, You're like, plenty of shit can get to you. It doesn't <laughs> have reach. So, yeah, it's going to just expend his entire turn just getting here. Uh, doing a forked flanked attack, but actually doesn't get flanking. Uh, this guy's on the right side, technically, so he doesn't attack. But this guy is super next to Toulouse, so he's going to attack you. And, man, the left side has faced way too many casualties and some of them were inflicted by me uh ba -ba -ba, seven to attack to loose uh nope doesn't hit with a 16 two claw attacks natural 20 uh actually please re-roll that okay yeah, I was say, i've already burned my reaction 19 plus seven that still hits but it's not a natural 20 did you just hear like the chat explode when he said natural 20? <laughs> just, like, <laughs> like, Please re roll that. <laughs> uh, and the last claw attack doesn't hit, so it is only 2d6 plus 4. So, wait, is this on me? This is on you. What hit me? Uh, a the claw attack the demon to your left. Wait, wait. <clears throat> You're beside Big Green Bract. No, I mean, which attack hit me? A uh, claw attack. 19. I have my armor class is 20. Yeah, it's 19, 19 plus, plus 7. Sorry, I keep doing this. Uh, it's okay. Uh, for a total of 15 points of slashing damage. And I think you've already used your reaction yeah, this did. round. Honestly, good call on that last one. 17? Uh, yes. Or 15? Yes. 17, right? 15, 15. Sorry, I don't know where I got steps. Round it up to 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Just getting real, people. Uh, slash main action. Going to get Nom Nom out of this area. Going to forcefully move him, not provoking type of uh, attack of opportunity because it doesn't proc that way. Thankfully. However, now she is in the fray of these guys, which is fine. That's what she was going for anyways. Uh main action she's going to use uncanny dodge so wait not uncanny dodge sorry a defensive stance so any attacks against her are at disadvantage dodge. that is her turn unfortunately uh to loose i go okay um I guess I will. I haven't been having. Or, uh, I want to attack the guy. I want to attack him. Uh, your attack. first attack does have an advantage. 
Yeah, I'm gonna remand I'm a, I'm a, unto them. I gotta hit him once. I haven't fucking hit him once. That's good advantage that though. Hit. Nat that 20, that's hit. That's, natural 20. That's... Okay, well. Still good. It's still, still good. And Get you have sneak and... attack thanks to Bract and Gothos <laughs> being right there. I'm even though Bra <laughs> even though Gothos is useless. Sneak attack. Uh, won't be for long. Just hold on. Are you still stunned? Hope Until uh, yeah. the Demigorgon's next turn. And my turn is before yours, so you can't help me. I want to. Um, so... Not for this. You are going to miss one turn, but you'll be feeling better. <laughs> uh, what were you saying to Luce? Um. Right. So... so my attack hit. I hit him. Um. I want to use my second e move thing to. I have a. I got. I got this. I think from. Kobo, a potion of storm giant strength, or where did I get this from? Probably Kobo. Yeah, I'm, I bet you. Go ahead, chug that sucker. Should I drink it? Plus or should I give it to somebody? Damage. Um, if you could, if the DM allows you to retcon to drinking it and then attacking, sure. Can I do that? I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I'm so, um, I had this potion I've been meaning to use it You guys the last, had like, so years, many things, I, I am surprised you remember some of them. Are you kidding? I've I'm been trying staring to pull them out. This, I, like, I'm, I am in between, so in between every something. round, I've been staring at sto Potion of Storm Giant, and I'm like, I gotta remember to use it, and then on my turn, I forget about it. So. Like, oh shit, let's go. Yeah. yeah, Potion of Storm Giant, clicked it, um, go ahead and I will, what does it do? It does a plus... On a second. So your strength score changes to 29. Uh, so that's a plus 9. Yep. Um, so so using all that, so instead of being plus 5 for a dex, you just get a plus 4 to the slashing and to the hit. So an additional so you... four damage to the first yeah. attack. Cool. And you have a roll. plus four to hit on your next attack. Yes. Okay. You, you still attack. have your second attack, though? Yeah. This doesn't disqualify my second I thought I was using this as, like, no. a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Well, we could say because you had used all of your other previous bonus attacks, this could be the one that you have to use to drink it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. Uh, I'll tell you what. You can use your reaction, which is very dangerous to do, or your bonus action to drink it. I already said my bonus. <clears throat> I thought I said my bonus. Okay. <laughs> you chug I'll it. I'll stick with what I said originally. I, I yeah, your bonus action. Drink it on my... Uh, yeah. You chug it. And then... Yeah, because you guys are already letting me do it, like, retroly, so that's nice. Yeah. And then... Okay, I already added the additional damage. This guy is very hurt. Sneak attacked it a lot. Okay, uh, I believe that is your turn unless you decide to move. Oh, um, this guy, this guy. No, because I already used my bonus action. I'm good. I can't do. Okay. To get away. Uh. End of your turn. I'm gonna have it use its secondary legendary action. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Let's see here. It already knows Brad is being resistant by it, so it'd be pointless to do that. So it's either Toulouse or Gothos. I'm going to flip a coin. Evens, Toulouse, odds, Gothos. Bring it on. Evens, Toulouse. Uh, it's going to do a tail attack. Uh, Sorry, Toulouse. The odds were against you. Plus 15. Toulouse has a... I don't have a bonus here. Luce has a reaction. So Luce has a reaction again. Uh, uh, you do. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is 26 game. to hit, which does hit. So you have to decide whether to take it now or its real turn is yet to come. Yeah. Oh, 
So I'll that's the, just the decision you have to make before the damage is rolled. Oh, wait. I, you're confusing me. I'm going to use Uncanny um, Dodge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. like, what? Like, yeah, yeah Tathos, you also confused me. <laughs> Well, he. Oh, you're, I get he, no. I get you. I get what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. He hasn't taken his full turn yet, but now I'm using uncanny dodge. Yeah. No, that's fair. That was a I rough got, roll. Uh, that is sixty-nine. Uh, reduced to half. That Oy. is. Uh, <laughs> nice. I was gonna finish it up. With <laughs> nice, but way to ruin it. You. You have to. Anyways, uh, reduced to half. That is uh, thirty. Four, round it up, six, uh, 35. You take 35. <laughs> uh, damage yeah, total. Yeah, good. no, that was a really good use of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just wait till it, till it gets it burned, then you should use it. Uh, Nearly was... max damage. <laughs> oh. Never mind. The incapacitated states, st uh, incapacitated condition states that you're unable to use reactions or actions. What are your thoughts about bonus actions? Allowed, because I don't want you to not do anything. Uh, I think technically it also goes without saying that, but I'm going to allow it because it doesn't say not to. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Uh, so Before you do, though, uh, Telugus, as you slash into it for a fraction of a second, the spectral image surrounding the main body of this demigorgon appears for a second but you wave through it and slash into the main body i keep forgetting to do this whenever you attack but 50 50 chance of hitting either it or the illusion you hit it uh gothos so in that case i will summon a, a spiritual weapon as a bonus action and uh have you ever seen kung fu hustle yeah. and like he gets the crap beat out of him and then like his hand comes up and it's just like taps on the noggin that's pretty much what my spiritual weapon does uh you summon a gross hand to try to slap someone <laughs> no it'd be like a, it's just like a sad hammer it's like dink i don't think i have a sad hammer so i'm just gonna look up a hammer fine uh 1d8 so i'll just it's yeah, I'll just uh, call it my smite. And the DC to beat is... Uh, it's probably frickin' wisdom. Why is it not going over to my spells? Uh, a ritual weapon. It's spiritual. A, yeah, spiritual weapon. It's a, normal, uh, it's a melee attack. Yeah. So you, you just make an attack and it deals 1d8 plus your spellcasting modifier. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Which for you would be charisma. Uh, 20 does not hit. Oh. <clears throat> Rats. Uh, so go it ahead is and sad. place your hammer it, where you want it, though. It is sad and ineffectual. Great. <laughs> um, uh, swing where is this hammer? Wherever you want it. It's to the left of you. Oh, it's right beside me. Yeah, yeah, that's probably accurate. That's good. To the left, to the left. Okay. Uh, that is your bonus action turn. Uh, still stunned. Kobo. Okay. Let's see here. Oh. Cont sorry, can Tannhauser bite? Uh, yes. Tannhauser not stunned? Perfect. Moving on. Moving on. Does Tenhauser have a uh, reaction or anything like that? Yeah, I there's too many attacks of opportunity to get me out. Okay, well I'm not gonna get you out. I'm just seeing here. Um, okay, this is gonna be quite a bit. Turn to Tenhauser into a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about that. That's another possibility. Um, but right C now, CRD discussion I'm... again. Right now, I'm going to quickly yell, Nom Nom, to loose a point. And then I'm going to use... Uh, 
my poof boots to Thunderstep. Um, up here. Yeah, 90 feet. Uh, having them roll, I believe, deck saves. Uh, Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> Both failed. Do the damage. Yeah, Dave, you got Thunderstep? Uh, what's the damage on that? Because I have it on, a, on an ability, not a spell. Or on an item, not a spell. Ugh, what has my hubris wrought? It is a half an hour of me doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're going to fix that up real quick here. Okay, okay. hold on, hold on. I'm yeah, coming, so coming. So, relax. I, so I found a solution for it. I was supposed to do overtime today, so I'm currently just doing it. Uh, 1d10 for each slot above third. Uh, okay. When you cast it, 3d10. Since it's an item, it's okay. just 3d10. Alright, just straight 3d10. No plus nothing. I just closed it. <laughs> Uh, both of them sustain a good amount of damage, but aren't dead. Oh, oh, is it a uh, dex check or they're not prone? Uh, I just closed it. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it up. Hang on, it's in my immediate. Just kill up. the fuckers! You move there. I'll figure them out what? later. What are you doing? Um, now I'm going to have to do this kind of quick. I want to grab three bottles out of my left hip pouch. And I want to toss two of them to Tannhauser and drink one myself. Okay, uh, that is easily done. What are you drinking? As I toss them to Tannhauser, as I toss the two bottles to Tannhauser, I tell him, have him drink those and then i chug one myself and i'm chugging my potion of storm giant strength okay. well tan does have particularly sticky legs it's included That's in the character kind of sheet yeah uh you yeah. are like 15 feet away but you're having to throw around a demon lord oh wait to beat um, 12. this is this is this is still within 90 feet but i can do that if you would rather needs to beat doesn't matter 11. <laughs> 12. Okay. 11. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. A, uh, a, uh, a athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. You can choose. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Toss them over. Currently preoccupied with trying to murder people. Uh, easily able to with handle the them. The art of war. Uh, Tannhauser can have either himself ingest one or Gothos ingest one. Um, I told um, Tannhauser to make Gothos drink both of them. What are you giving him? Um, one potion is a potion of invulnerability. The second potion is a potion of healing, 4d4 plus 4. You have to choose one. Well, you can drink, I, oh, I, I talked to both. Drink you, two, to you can't drink two potions in one turn. Well, no, no. You're, you're going to have to drink them separate, but just drink them. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to say Ten Hauser gives you the healing first. one first. It makes sense. Uh, Sounds good. What does he heal for? <laughs> because he's down to like 53 hit points. What does he heal for? Oh, sorry. Not why said, uh, does he 4D4, heal? 4d4 plus 4. Okay. I shall roll that. And you Second yourself tier. drink your potion of Storm Giant Strength, increasing your strength by a large margin. 4d4, you say? As, as he's gonna rip like suplex the big guy, right? Oh, I've got to do one more thing first before I do that. What are you doing? Oh, no, I can't now. I've, I've Have I burned everything? Oh, wait, can I cast a spell? Uh, if you, you toss you something did. as a bonus action, you've drank in something as your main action. Uh, you've... No, wait. Okay, I've already used my bonus action, so I can't... Um... I can't. Um, you also toss something. Yeah, to go those. 
Yeah, but you so, use your bonus okay, action yeah, to my... uh, thunder step. You know what? I'm yeah, gonna still allow it. It's just you can't move. That's fine. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't intend to move. Um, if I can't do it, that's fine. I, I, I just got confused about what I've done so far. Yeah, I just allowed you to um, do too much. But I'm gonna say that also <laughs> expands your movement. Uh, does the uh, elemental get any closer? Oh yes, the elemental. My okay. So uh, I am allowed to cast the spell I wanted to cast. Um, no. Spending a sorcery point to quicken spell it. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, and, oh, quicken no, spell, no. Right, I believe. Turns into a bonus action. I think I've already. Yeah, and you've already All expended. Right, um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. All right, I can get. Wait. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay, I can get. Two. Oh, there. All right. Um, he's gonna spend his action running but he can get up to there. Okay, no that is his turn. Running. Uh, main initiative round, going into darkness again. Uh, layer action as various clouds of plume and smoke just surround the area. It chooses. It's going for Bracked again. Okay. To block his line of sight. <laughs> uh, that is... Uh, okay. 15 by 15, so that is there, but not exactly ah. there. It's gonna oh, the layer actions. Ah. Yeah, they're annoying. Uh, yeah, new threat, new target, potential danger. It's going to target Kobo. Yeah, because... <laughs> Good, it isn't that much of a threat, apparently. And Toulouse just hit very hard, so it's going to target Toulouse as well. He is a potential It'd be too threat. convenient to black out Gothos. I mean, that would break line of sight. He'd be unstunned. Oh, no, no, that'd be too great. And... Oh, wait, that is true. Also, uh, it's too, too, too also, that that's not going to matter. Yeah, because okay. it, its turn is coming up as well. It's going to do oh, no, this. It is its turn. turn. Yeah. It is his turn immediately after. Yeah. So you will not be stunned anymore. Yeah. After the darkness comes up. Uh, so his can. turn yeah. starts yeah. causing Gothos to immediately move again. So, you yeah. know, that's good. Uh, however, it surrounded its south border with smoke and who knows what else. <laughs> uh, immediately mm. it goes in for an attack. I'm not going to target Gothos immediately. But I'm not going to choose Brack because it knows Brack <laughs> isn't taking a lot of damage. Uh, even in odds again with Kobo and Toulouse, so I'm not going to say who is who. So it's Gothos, right? No, it's Kobo. <laughs> I specifically stated evens and odds, but I didn't say <laughs> I was doing that. Uh, sorry, Kobo, it, it's going to hit you. Yeah, it's okay. Um, please roll a disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage because Explain. of your cloak. Advantage because it can <laughs> oh, yes. still see you with the fog cloud already up. However, sure it's just a flat roll. Mm -hmm. But good call on remembering. Uh, 21 does still hit, unfortunately. Yeah, I was going to say, with my, my whopping 16 AC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that is 4d12 plus 9 points of damage. <laughs> Different attack. Uh, for 43 yes, points of uh, bludgeoning damage. And I want you to go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. Man, you're just outside my range. I'm sorry, bud. Okay. Constitution saving throw. Okay. Come on. I would like to look that. I would. Yeah, it's, it sounds like wisdom. I'll take that one. Yeah, uh, with your lucky ability, hence your points, uh, you expend one, causing the natural order to shift, causing you to succeed instead of failing. Uh, you felt almost like you were about to barf, but thankfully enough, uh, you are fine. 
you still sustain the 43 points of bludgeoning damage. That is still happening. And it will attack again. Uh, 24 does hit. So that's another 4d12 plus 9. And go ahead and roll another con save. Okay, hold on. Doing math. Hold on. No problem. What hath our hubris wrought? Uh, and how much damage did my second attack do? The second attack hits for 42, but you still need me uh, still need to make the save. Okay. That 18 is an 18. I do make it. The con save. That is an 18, is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, At what point did the minus two stop? Oh, wait a second. I think it's happening. I'm surprised. I didn't think this would ever happen. Um, I, I took 42 points of damage again. You took 43 before and now 42. Okay. Um, 42. Da, da, da. Okay. Uh, However, ever. as my bloody body... <laughs> Fall oh, no. back in my little arms, splay out. <laughs> this green, glowing magic coming from my back and under my shirt, up on my shoulders, and the fine lines of magic <laughs> intricately woven into my skin. I was wondering if you remember if you had it. Point. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to use it, dude. Yeah. I've been waiting to use it. Uh, no one saw that, but it did look cool, <laughs> unfortunately. <Damn it>. uh, <laughs> your max HP, however, is reduced by 42. Which is confirmed. Uh, I, I am so happy for you to succeed on the first one, or else you were really <laughs> funny. Uh, and just to be mean, it's going to look at you, and you don't know it's looking at you, so I'm not giving you an option. Kobo, roll wisdom save. To, to avert my eyes. You can't. Is that what this is? You don't know that it's unless happening. You, unless you have true sight somehow. Actually, I, I was going to say, I got knocked down. Are my eyes closed and I'm getting back up? Or? No, because you walk back up with the one hit point. All right. Unless for some reason you decided to just close your eyes for no apparent reason. Like, oh, That's I got hurt. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. Yeah, I was going to say, so how, can, can, how can a gaze work through? Yeah, how can a gaze work through that? Okay. Um, it's the way it's like worded. I already made this statement beforehand. It just needs to see you. Oh, no, no. We're going to look at that. And you take one point of damage. <laughs> and try it again. Rough stuff. This gaze just killed me, didn't it? Uh, no. No, you're just stunned. You right. are not stunned. This is a different one. Oh. Uh, as soon as it hits you, <laughs> it might not be a better one, I'm just saying. As soon as it hits you, uh, you are underneath a different gaze effect. Uh, you are underneath the insanity gaze. You are underneath the confusion spell, uh, and it lasts until its next turn. Its next turn, not yours. Oh uh, no! <laughs> this is gonna be annoying. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll one d10 to see what you do on your turn. Three. Uh, the creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. So on your turn, you just don't do anything. Basically, uh, you're stunned. <laughs> it doesn't say anything about bonus actions, though. So, like Gothos, uh, you can do a bonus action I if you want. I might be able to pull something out of my arse. Cool. Uh, that is its turn. Nom Nom. Nom Nom's rushing the table. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And then casting a spell. I know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, it's going to 
roam so through the area, uh, casting a ray of potential help towards your sur- its surroundings. Choosing one, two, three, four. Yeah, can, he can get all of you. Uh, all of you gain back if you have HP to gain back twenty-eight H- HP. I will. He is now in the not. open. <laughs> Oh no. 28. We all get 28. 28, yeah. It is now right side's turn. That guy's next to Nom Nom. Sorry, Gotho, so he doesn't need to do anything. Uh, That one's dead. That one knows Toulouse is there, so it's going to try to attack you, but it has disadvantage because it can't see through it. The darkness. Uh, These guys are just going to get closer. Oh, it can get to Nom Nom. <laughs> That's concerning, uh, and no. it can still attack. Concern. And these guys are just going to go after Slash and T-Rex. So with Gothos, the first attack is plus seven. Miss. Uh, claw attack. No claw longer. Attack. What was that? No longer at advantage. No longer at advantage. Uh, plus seven, that is 22, and your AC is 23, so it doesn't hit. And right claw attack, there. nope, doesn't hit. Uh, the one next to loose, uh, bite. Yeah, oh, no, nope. you know, we're back in the saddle claw, after that claw. embarrassing staring contest. <laughs> uh, going after Nom Nom this time, two bite attacks. One of them does hit. AC 17. Oh, wait, he has a plus two. So AC 19. Uh, I forgot about that thing. He had chainmail at least. I thought he had shield and chainmail. Uh, AC of 19. So okay, thankfully okay. enough, he's fine right there. Uh, and four claw attacks. Miss, hit, miss, hit. So that is, uh, da, 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 da. I believe it's 2d6. Yeah, 2d6 plus 4. So he takes a total of 24. And with a total HP of 22, he is down. He never leveled up. He did level up. He's just been taking a lot of damage. Damn. Rolls inside on the DM. <laughs> you can if you want to. The man took over 120. He's very it's hard to read. Jesus. <laughs> Wait, so why didn't he heal himself on any of those turns where he didn't cast a spell? Too altruistic. Too altruistic, and he's been doing other things to help out. What uh, a goy. You know what? I'll, I'll have him heal one of those. Uh, Let's see here. You know, he, he had is... bonus actions for self-healing. Yeah, I'm going to say he's at 14 at the very least. Healing word is a bonus action. Mm, that's a good point. He's at 24. I'll give you this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, two bites and four claw attacks against T-Rex. Plus seven to hit on each of them. Miss. Miss with bites. Uh, claw attack. Hit. Miss. Miss. And miss. And let's murder this motherfucker uh, so we can have a big potato. Against T-Rex. And one bite against Slash. And two claw attacks. Hit and hit. I like how the claw talks to any things that are hitting. Okay, that is their turn. Uh, Brat. You're in shadow Brat. again. Be our hero, baby. Yeah, yeah, I, I am going to be the winged... I, I am gonna be the winged hero that we all deserve. I'm gonna jump up. And I'm gonna fly. To right over here. Deliver us like a Creed music video. Uh, As a- you jump and fly. I don't know where you went. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, apparently, I go under the token, yes. <laughs> uh, I did say the roof was 30, so you can definitely do that. Yeah. As, oh, there's a roof on this place. Oh, I didn't know that. Probably forgot, because I'm a dumb. <laughs> it's like uh, and I, I am gonna swing at him, at his head. Recklessly. I... Yeah. I can be your hero, baby. Yeah, that hits. 22 does hit. <laughs> oh, uh, no clue why there is poison there. Why, why am I even rolling this one, though? Should be this one. Sorry. What for a CP this? Sorry, uh, uh, let, let's just take this one because this actually makes sense because this one is incorrect. And so apparently I'm not used to swinging uh, normally with this great sword. Uh, so which one is correct? The bottom, uh, the second one. Okay, I need to minus that from the total. Why? Why the fuck is there poison? Okay. Fight. Okay. Fight. Final fight. I know that half of my weapon attacks are wrong. Great. <laughs> Luckily, I never use those. And then I will swing again. Okay. Yeah, man. 30. 30 does it. For another 24. This thing is on its last legs. You can tell by that much. If you can, like, swing again and hit hard, it will go down. You know this for sure. Well, I have bad news on that. I will use my bonus action to second win myself. For 10. You second win yourself for 10. Yep, and then I am gonna land here right next to Gotos. And that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, boom. I can sadly only make bonus action attacks if I crit or kill something. Good to know. Boom, you're surrounded by a whole bunch of demons. You're a T-Rex. All right, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, the one I bit, which I think is probably going to be this one here, how bad does For it God's look? Sake, kill they the big all one. honestly look bad. You cannot kill the big one, that's the point. Now, just bite it. Um, so, let's go ahead and roll that attack. Uh... Oh, um, that's a 14 to hit. Unfortunately, their AC is 16. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the tail attack on the next one over. Uh, this one here, just uh, one next to Slash and that elemental thing. Checks out. Uh, tail attack, 23. That looks like it hits for 15 bludgeoning. The tail smacks into the creature, uh, causing it to just die on the ground. I did something vaguely useful. All right, that's my mm. turn. All right. Uh, left side. I've done. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, which is that guy and this guy. But I think I accidentally had them go on the main uh, right side. So I'm going to say left side already did their turn. Yeah. That was my bad. Uh, <laughs> they did what they did. Slash, going to make sure that Nom Nom doesn't die. Uh, thankfully enough, goes around so it doesn't provoke attack of opportunity. Uh, once again, uses her action to get Nom Nom out of this area. Uh, bonus action. Yeah, she's just straight up going to punt him as a bonus action. Uh, even mm -hmm. though this is technically not something she can do. Take uh, the baby. 13 plus dexterity modifier. Uh, yeah, she just shoves him hard and goes another 15 feet. Uh, that is her turn. Toulouse. Um, I know I'm in darkness, so... Shit. You know where the enemy was, you know where your teammates were, and you know that there's an enemy to the left of you. Okay, I'm gonna drink a health potion because I have a health potion on me. What is the... Um... Where'd my health potion go? What kind is it? It just says health potion. Then that is, is 2d4 normal... plus 2. Okay. 
2 d four plus two. Yeah, and that is the bonus action to drink it. Oh, he's. Um, I'll take it. Okay. Um. You know that the smaller demons can't see that well in the shadow, so if you want to move away from it, you definitely can. Okay. Um, well, I know I'm in range of this guy. I'll just swing blindly. I know it's probably going to be a disadvantage. It is a disadvantage, but your hand does give you advantage on your first swing, so it's a flat roll. Yes. Okay. Uh, please do something good. 21 does not hit. Damn, dude. Um, <clears throat> that's it, right? That's all I could do. Okay. <laughs> I think, right? Because I did my boat, my I drank a potion and then. Yeah, potion bonus. Yeah, unfortunately. All right. You know what? No. No, this is not how it ends. <laughs> Nom Nom can do something, which I forgot to do, and he does have a bonus action. And I like this because I think it's funny. <laughs> Nom Nom blesses you. Roll a d4. Roll a d4. Roll a d4. Uh, I love it. That does hit. That's enough. It's yes. enough. Yeah. <laughs> and with 11 HP <laughs> remaining, how do you take him out? I'm still rolling my sneak attack damage. <laughs> <laughs> How do you most definitely take him out? Well, I'm blind. How do I take him out? I'm blind. I'm swinging in the dark. Um, <laughs> just fucking hack at him. Oh my god. I'm blind. Why am I blind? Because <laughs> you're in the dark. Do you like come out of the dark spot just like hacking at him still? Can I crawl up him? Yeah. I won't crawl up him. Him. You Kill rush him. over towards him, stab your blade into his flesh, and crawl up using both knife and claws until you reach the face where Bract kind of is. Uh, Bract waves. Immediately, you stab through one of the eyes, whip around with your cat light reflexes, grab onto the other head, and stab through the other head's eyes. As soon as that happens, killing both nerve ends of the brain, it just tumbles and falls down. Mwahaha. Fuck your tail. And I will state that the enemies around you do have some health left, but they are not an immediate danger. You guys, with time, can kill them, heal up, kill, heal, kill, heal, kill, kill, kill. They did. Uh, so you are able to take them out without too much of concern. My next action was going to be transforming into a dragon. Damn. <laughs> you form into a dragon and just go to town. The highest yeah, HP one of them has is 43. So yeah, you can with, definitely with, with kill my, them. Uh, with my potion, my dragon strength was 29, so I was going to try and grapple the big guy, but yeah. I still had the potion of strength in me, too. Oh, you forgot to add those damages. I forgot to add that shit, yeah. He's dead. Fuck. <laughs> He uh, hurt me bad. I thought I was gonna die. I was done like thirty a, something points. Uh, I have a full HP. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was a good potion. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, I had two of them. I wish oops. Gothos would have been able to snap out of it long enough to drink his. Yeah, go move. That potion was great. I gotta say. <laughs> I plan ahead. It might have cost me a lot, but I knew it was gonna be helpful. Yeah, like. I, I got healed by Nom Nom for 28 and then a little bit more by my second win, so I wasn't full HP again. <laughs> my tattoo is still slightly glowing green and a little bit of steam's coming off it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys definitely worked well as a team. Uh, thematically, it has concluded. You have defeated the Demon Lord. Uh, as soon as around 10 minutes afterwards, you do, uh, you call in your rest of the team. <laughs> the rest of your allies. Yeah. 
that are lying in wait uh, with, you know the man. If you don't remember him, well, you are bad with memory. But mm-hmm. Rizian does mm-hmm. summon everyone into the area after you said to close up. Clear. Sorry, what was that part? Verizian does summon up the people that you left around him after you defeated the demon lords and, you know, uh, the rest of that. The rest of the people you left there to protect him were able to do their job. So they are summoned into the area. Uh, boom, eventually, because I did say 10 minutes, you turn back into a normal person. Uh, wouldn't I be stuck this way for an hour? You are stuck this way for an hour. <laughs> I can drop it early if you want. No, you can't. No, well, you can't. I guess you could, but you have to cast, have to cast oh, a different right. spell on it. You got some right, fairy. Yeah, he's stuck like that for an hour. I guess the fairy was... could. Yeah. yeah. Did the fairy go back home? Uh, no, he, he's still on the battlefield. He just got out. I get to go back to early? Alright, fuck it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's take you over to the Demogorgon and start tearing some flesh off of it. <laughs> so that means we still have another hour of clearing the city out of pests like Drow, right? Uh, Verizian does state, yeah, didn't really think you were into my kind of thing, but to which their own, I suppose. You're more than welcome to. Uh, however, I did do a general scan of the area. It, uh, unfortunately, someone helped some people survive in the... Don't really know who, but whoever's dead is dead in there, and those that survived, survived. A ragdolling Demogorgon. Yeah. Uh, while he's saying this, you guys are, like, cutting up the Demogorgon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yes. <laughs> uh, Virgin... Oh, body starts tearing oh. flesh off. <laughs> Chopping off a head, putting under an arm. Yeah, uh, you do so, and Virgin does state. Well, uh, I've had it, I suppose. Uh, that being said, well done, all of you, honestly. Uh, thanks a lot for making sure your companions were keeping me alive. Uh, but after a while, I did and was able to surmise that my talisman was destroyed, so I assume this thing did it. So, very grateful I didn't have to con- concentrate on that thing anymore. Uh, but <clears throat> that is annoying, and I am glad that Menzo Berenzen has fallen for now. Who knows how long it'll take the worshippers of love to rebuild, but it'll take far more time than they would likely care. Still, though, I am grateful yeah, to gener- you. And for Generations that, will, will grow up uh, free of Menzo Berenzen's tyranny. Yeah. At the very least, a generation. I don't know how long it'll take them. And who survived and who didn't. But <laughs> the point was made. Loth couldn't protect them. And hopefully some of them will realize that now. But I am indebted to you. To all of you. So, if there's something you desire, and if it's within my ability, speak it forth, and I will try to grant it. Jeez, now you give us the wish spell. Um. <laughs> well, I don't have to concentrate right now, so. Yes. Gathos, you can ask for that sword you were looking for. Maybe he can find out where it is with divination. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, I understand that there's a weapon capable of, uh, you know, killing a god. Called the Sword of Isaac. I understand it might be a uh, sort of north in yeah, you know, Icewind Dale. If you could locate it, wherever it may be, I don't know if that's a lead that would help you, but oh, wherever that... it may be, <laughs> that is practically telling me where it is now. Thankfully enough, I was able to uh, drink a potion of long rest, so I have everything back. I only had one, so I didn't give it to you. No offense. Didn't exactly know how you could fare. Uh. <laughs> As the T-Rex begins to eat 
the demons, mm -hmm. uh, I assume. Virzian then yep, begins... Going ahead and checking out all the corpses. They're just monstrosities. Unfortunately, they don't carry weapons or items. They do stink heavily, though. Uh, it stinks. It must be good. <laughs> true. I guess you could make, like, stink bombs. Virzian does state. Uh, all right, then. Uh, I did cast scrying, and thankfully enough, it is within Icewind Dale, but it is uh, guarded around... Uh, it is classified as a god, but technically it is a demigod since its form is in the material plane. Many people refer it to as the uh, Ice Queen. More practice then. I do know its location and I can send you there if you're ready. Maybe uh, <laughs> after a good long rest, we can try that little adventure, uh, Kokos. I didn't even mean that. Uh, let's definitely have you tell me the location, and then uh, I'll ask for the transportation when the time is right. He hands you a piece of paper that gives you the location of the area. Uh, he can teleport you to directly at it, because you know the name and the location. Or he can send you to the closest town which would probably be the preferable, preferable thing. Okay. All right, then. Plus, if he's around and give him a good sniff. Uh, he smells like a whole bunch of cologne uh, and birchwood. Snuffle, snuffle. He also kind of smells evil, but in the way of not caring for the world and just his own ideals. Duly noted. Like if it in, if it helps him, he's willing to do it. If it doesn't, eh, it's gonna take some convincing. But he's not gonna, you know, <laughs> murder you for no reason. Uh, but he does state. All right then. Looks towards Toulouse. Uh, you, my good friend. What is it that you desire? Perhaps I can help you out as well. It's needed. Um. <clears throat> I don't know. That's fair. You can have a uh, coupon to collect when desired. <laughs> hey, like thank a good you. Idea to me. Uh, he hands you a coupon. He makes makes out of the ethereal uh, network of magic. Nice. Uh, he then goes through the NPCs until he gets to uh, Nom Nom. Namam asks for the greatest recipe in the world, and he does state, that is beyond my power, unfortunately. However, I can yeah, lead herbs you... Herbs and spices remain beyond my ken. Uh, ...to the god of food, and they will likely be able to teach you that culinary strength. Uh, he accepts, and Nam Nam has that location, and whenever needed, will be sent there. Then he looks towards Boom. And you, T-Rex man, uh... I'm pretty sure it's over by now. <laughs> at this point, it is over. Uh, Pixie's also gone. Oh, it's Boom. Uh, and you, Boom, what is it you desire? Uh, I don't think you can help me. No coupon? Range check for later. All right, then. Uh, <laughs> makes another ticket of etherealness of magic, hands it over to Boom. Collect it when you need it. Uh, <laughs> then looks towards Bract, who is now at this point standard size. And you, my almost joint friend. Hmm. I will have to think about this long and clearly. Makes and another coupon. Probably ask my mom. <laughs> Makes another coupon. Fair enough. Good luck with your mother. I'm sure she's a fine woman, especially having raised you to defeat a demon lord. Hmm. Perhaps I could have summoned her here to help out. Ah, story for another time. Uh, then looks towards uh, Kobo. 
uh, and you? Hmm. Well, what I really wanted was treasure and adventuring. And I think I've got a lot of that. Um, perhaps a coupon for later? Do you happen to know how... Uh, does this go away? And I kind of show him my injuries that aren't healing. After a good long oh, rest. Negative 40, negative 42 hit point permanent. That's not permanent. After a good long rest and you don't have any of the demigorgon near you, you should be fine. So don't oh, ingest okay. any of it. Don't like put anything that it it's it is oh, around you. Be eating it. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. You'd be surprised I how many people eat their enemies. Yeah. Okay. Well, who would Thank do you. that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not just kidding. Yeah. Gothos in the background, like piece of meat, slowly going down. Uh, makes another coupon for Kobo. Thank you. Hey, uh, Toulouse. Yeah? I, I really should have thought about this before, and I'm sorry I didn't. But, um, I think I've been carrying the wrong thing. Can I, can I see Gwen Iceness for a second? What? Can he wants I to see your Gwen sword. Iceness for a second? Why? Yeah, uh, why? I, uh, reach over to my left arm, and I grab my, uh, armband scarab beetle thing, and I just kind of hold it out and click it onto, uh, the crossbar of the hilt of, uh, Gwen Iceness. And then I hand it back to you and say, if I'm not mistaken, now Gwen Iceness will do ice, lightning, and fire damage. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because my little scarab does green flame blade, which is a D8 fire Yeah, yeah. I, I know what it does. I gave it to you. Yeah. So, so yeah, I was just looking at the her uh, attack with Gwen Iceness, and it's like 1D8 electrical damage, 1D8, 2D4 ice damage, and now 1D8 fire damage. So it's like an all-around elemental sword. Hand it back. Sorry, hey, I Echo. Sorry about that earlier. Yeah, boss. What did you think oh. of the fight? Ah, could have been better. We could have fought in two demon lords, gotten twice the reward. <laughs> yeah, feeling there wasn't a buy one get one free discount on that uh, particular thing. Mm. Highly doubt it. But glad you all survived. Well, minus the big one over there. How does Gwen feel about this thing on her? Confused. <laughs> it's a really pretty jade scarab. It is, but it's intermingling with another magical item, so generally that doesn't work heavily. So they're just confused. <laughs> it could work, but it's, it's just confused because it's a sentient weapon. Uh, but back with Boom, uh, Echo does state. Overall, though, you all did marvelously. Uh, 10 out of 10. Well, there we go. High praise from Echo. Mm -hmm. Hey. Who, who probably understands more of what's going on than I ever will. I think the more I see the Underdark, the less sense this place makes. Uh, Verizian does state, honestly, yes. Unfortunately, there is a whole lot of chaotic magic down here. Uh, and Loth being among one of them causes even more chaos. Unfortunately, she is down here, and with her influence, this type of webbing, these darkened flames, continue to process. So, as long as she's around, there is still danger about. I wanted to hear that. Something else I'm going to have to add to the paperwork. <laughs> well, there's more than just her, Ice. but she is a problem. I start sticking my fingers in my ears. I don't need to hear this. Right. <laughs> I swear. Oh, jeez. Well, then. The person who sent me down here must really hate me. I don't know them, so perhaps. Uh, now then. 
time to send you to a place that you know quite well. Uh, he makes an ethereal uh, coupon for Gothos as well. When you're ready to go, just rip it apart and my uh, greater image spell will cast in front of you and you can speak with it to when you need to go. It can take yeah. up to eight people. So if you need your group there, they'll be there. Well, many thanks. Yeah, I think we could all use a rest about now. It's been uh, quite the long fight. Right. Well, uh, I can't send you back to the Vengeance Tower. After all, you're no longer useful to me. So, rather not have you at my home any longer than need me. But I can uh, send you yeah. back to the Dwarven place you belong to. Well, not all of you, but the place you were assigned. Yeah, that won't require an explanation at all. Oh, that's great. Yeah. All we have to do is show up and say, hey, we did it. Lots of people died, but we killed the head bad guy. I should know. Yeah, that's... Well, good luck to you. And clap his hands and immediately you all disappear. Back inside the uh, castle of the Dwarven leader, uh, you all emerge out of nowhere. <laughs> the demons aren't with you. Whatever you took, because I know some of you scavenged things, it is with you. Uh, a battle hammer looks down towards all of you as he's currently discussing things, readying another wave of adventurers uh, to go with you to back you up. Uh, he is stating right now, right then, uh, the second team should be able to make contact with them in the next few days. Uh, the third team will go immediately and then notices you all appeared out of nowhere. Oh, Cancel the third bloody. team. Uh, get a scout for the second team. This is going to be a good story, isn't it? Hey, we did it. No, uh, lots of casualties. Sleep now. Story bad. Sleeping. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good story. Get your rest. And tomorrow, let me know what happens. Uh, and with that, you all go to sleep. You tell a story, however grand, however things you take out of the story, I'll let you decide in your own minds. But with that, it concludes. Kobo is a second level bard. He can't come up with a good song. And a song is played while people tell a story. You rat snake. <laughs> It's Whether or not be a tall tale. things go cleanly or things go even better than expected, well, let's leave that up to fate as we end the session in that campaign today. Thanks for playing.